Okay. Are we live? Uh, mic check. There we go. All right then. Uh, let's continue. I've been doing just a couple of little things offline, like finishing up the pump jacks uh, that we were working on last time, and there's another one over here. Fleshed out this rail block with a ludicrous amount of storage for crude oil because sometimes our usage of it is very bursty. Um, I set up a system for loading, uh, for making ice. There's a couple of things missing that we can fix right now. Just need to connect that to there. And that name is already correct. Provide stack threshold. Green wire. Fantastic. All right. Then the same thing over here. Uh, but the main problem it has right now is there's no fluid getting delivered here. And I spent a while wondering why and messing with these settings. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's just that with the way I've got the request set up for water, um, I'm creating too many jobs for the eight fluid trains that we have. You can see none of them are in the depot right now. And also, uh, with the way it's set up, uh, these stations have the old dynamic priority system, so they're always a higher priority than this station over here, or these two. Um, I added some more water pickup stations just to eliminate that bottleneck. I also threw a pump in over here and fed it, connected these two water systems uh, so they won't need anywhere near as much delivered by train. Uh, but what I actually need to do right now is add another fluid train depot. I would love to put that into rail blocks, but it's going to take a while. Uh, I mean, when we designed this monstrosity, uh, it actually took, I think it took hours to fully flesh out. What we've got here is depots which will take fluids out of trains if they somehow come back with them. And because we need to deal with a number of possible different fluids, uh, we need pumps to take uh, the fluids away to specific tanks and then we've got uh, a pickup here for whatever ends up here and this crude oil right here shows that I'm pretty sure that's not connected to anything like this yeah no uh, that crude oil there shows that it does still happen sometimes somehow so I don't want to just be super confident in everything I've done with LTN and change the settings so that it just deletes fluid. That is an option. I mean, all of the fluids are ultimately infinite, but it's still not great to waste, uh, especially when it comes to oil. Um, so I would like to set up something like this, but in a nice, lovely square rail block. Uh, however, this thing is pretty big. Uh, we're definitely not going to be able to have... Honestly, we could probably only have like four or five um, per block. Which is okay. But it's just not something I want to spend time on right now. So instead, 
uh, I'm going to grab our load train depot blueprint and think about where we're going to put this. Uh, here would probably make a lot of sense. I don't think we have much in the way of a need for landfill over here. That might be good. Let's bring our spiders. I think they're over here somewhere. Uh, I may have forgotten where I parked the spiders. The construction spiders, that is. Um, let's see. Weren't they somewhere over here? How are they so hard to find? Keep thinking that is spiders. Where were they going? Unfortunately, I don't have a remote bound to them because I'm using the nav satellite right now. Uh, if I can't find them in a moment, I guess I'll just come back to Nalvis. Uh, we do have a cargo rocket full of Vulcanite waiting to come back with us. Uh, we've loaded everything we want in the meantime to come to Mariel and it's probably about time we sent this one and away we go you were working on oil with them? Yeah, I did a few things offline, just some little things. I am Sark, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And here come our cargo. Um, I do have it set up so the bots will handle everything automatically here. Uh, with the unpacking and so on. So we'll wait for that rocket to be ready to launch. Uh, meanwhile, I guess I could at least... I can't even remember where my military spiders are. Unless they all died, but I doubt that. Uh, we can definitely see the spiders on the map, because... We've got these two. Oh, here are the military spiders. Uh, how many rockets you got left? The front one has zero. There's still quite a lot of rockets left in the whole group. Let's tidy up that one. And then head back to base. I don't suppose if I have another look, I'm going to see them. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Maybe they got stuck on water when I tried to send them back home. Nope. I guess I'll just... We're still waiting for this thing to load. Uh, I did set that up correctly. Good. Oh, wait. What? Oh, we let this thing get too full. There we go. And this will load up the rest of the Vulcanite as soon as... As soon as this is, uh, finished. I guess I can look for... Well, no. I was going to say the square of vision around the spiders, but we've got radars everywhere. So that doesn't help. Uh... 
I'm really a bit surprised and confused by this. They're not at the new block that I was building. Oh well. 82%. Almost there. How's our orbital base doing? That's something we can definitely help with a little bit while we wait. Oh, and I had to think about uh, building a system that reads from the logistic network and builds a bunch of stuff with uh, Crafting Combinator. I think I've probably got uh, a decent design lined up. Hey, we only need three more. Well, not just three more, but to get it just functional, we just need three telescopes and we've actually built everything. Nice. Uh, do we have a small passive provider chest I can copy here? I think this one. There we go. That should do it. And since there's nothing else that we're building right now, this is 216. So let's add 213 telescopes to our list of things to build here. Telescope, 13 and uh, uh, turn that on for a moment. What? Oh, I subtracted it. Uh, whoops. I didn't remember leaving this at only accepting negatives. Well, actually, I shouldn't have done anything. So what happened here? Well, whatever the case, we want to bump this up to 216 uh, telescopes. Each greater than one, minus one. Okay, let's try again. 216, perfect. And that is going to take a while, but it certainly shouldn't take long to get a handful so we can get the base operational. I'll give the spiders some time to get resupplied. This one is ready to launch. Fantastic. Let's go home. I think I'll amend this uh, blueprint so that we automatically include some stuff to set up the cargo rocket to go back home and some more uh, core mining drills. Up to nine, I guess, would be a good idea. Uh, but in the meantime, we now have the remote for our spiders, and it turned out they were hiding right here. I'm not that surprised I didn't see them, especially since if you zoom out the icons, the train stops go above the spider icons. Alright, what was I looking for the spiders for? Oh, that's right. Uh, I would like to... like to make... actually we should probably... I'll just leave that stuff there, that's fine. I thought that was the old station, but no, that's some circuit experiments uh, from a long time ago now. Uh, but yeah, just want to clear some land and 
uh, build out. Actually, I guess we don't need those big poles. Right, what else? Uh, let's get resupplied. I'm still struggling with batteries, surprisingly enough. I did get... Oh, I did a one-off where I got a train to bring some here. Something I'd really like to do in future with main bus bases... Uh, I mean, it's really hard to do from the start of the game, especially when you end up designing new rail blocks. But I would kind of like to set it up so that all of the... What was that? Um, I would kind of like to set it up so that all of the stuff that we put on the bus can be brought in by train later in the game. So we don't get situations like this. Because, like it or not, uh, we do tend to rely on the main bus base for a very long time. Okay. Military spooters. That's right, I wanted this uranium. Hence, clearing out the biters in this direction. Uh, there might be a land bridge over here. So, let's uh, see what we can do about that. And... We need our big fluid depot. Gonna line it up with the roundabout right there. Something in the way. Doesn't look like we're gonna need any landfill. Ah, the awesome building power of an army of spiders. Fantastic. And that's a lot of vulcanite as well. Um, I think we're getting bot crashes because we've got too many in motion right now. Can we maybe slow this down? There's really no rush unloading this thing. Um... So I want to get all that Vulcanite back into the rail network. Where are they taking it? All the way up here. Oh wait, it is getting put into the rail network. Fantastic. That's one less thing to have to do. Although, if it's all only getting processed by this one, for one thing, we're not using productivity modules. Uh, and for another, it's going to be quite slow. Um, so, we can just do it up here somewhere. Since all the Vulcanite is being brought here anyway, um, why don't we put a station here? One, two, two, three, four, five, six. And... Uh, I guess the easiest way to do this would be some request chests. Like so. And I'm just going to set it... Uh, set it to evenly build them up to get just one train load. 
and we're only gonna have a train come when that is full, so we're not gonna have to, not gonna have to worry about the balance loading. These are lined up correctly. Good. Uh, let's see. It stacks to fifty, doesn't it? Yep. So eight thousand over twenty-four, three hundred thirty-four purchased. Give it some power. Do a standard pickup. Uh, constant combinator. Read contents is the default. And then, now we just need power, right, that should get our Vulcanite back into the rail system, fantastic, I'm not going to worry about that one, that stuff over there, right then. I definitely don't need to be carrying uh, eight core mining drills for the moment. Spooters, keep doing your thing until you run out of stuff or the job is done. Uh, we're going to need some signals over here. Actually, that'll be a chain signal as well. These ones are actually a little bit overkill. They don't make much difference to how quickly the trains get in and out here. That should be fine. What are we missing? Lots of pipe. Not very surprising. I'll get them to place what they can from here and then resupply. Military spiders uh, seem to have found a beach. That doesn't go anywhere, which is what we want to see. I'll just get them to skim the edge of what we can see so far. And then come back. Hey, Zura. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what else are we doing? It's going to take the bots a little while to bring that much Vulcanite over here. But if we make the requests bigger... A, we're going to use too many bots um, all the time, trying to fill this up too fast, and B, uh, it's not necessarily going to be balanced. Right. What's next? Oh, that's right. On um, Marielle, I th think... There was some other stuff I brought with me. I think it was just belts and stuff. Yeah, and I brought enough uh, cargo rocket sections to... Wow, we can do this again already. Uh, that's going to be quite a bit of Vulcanite. I'll send it as soon as the... Actually, I'll send it when this is empty. 
Okay, maybe at the very least a fast inserto would be a good idea here. Hey Diarchus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, there's something else I wanted to do in the rail system. Oh yeah, I'm going to have to actually place some fluid wagons, aren't I? Let's get you guys resupplied first. And we're going to make eight fluid wagons. So, 16 locomotives. And... Uh, I actually need... This is only enough for five fluid wagons. Six. Alright, let's place what we can. Oh, that was bad timing. Very, almost very bad timing. Copy, paste, and there we go. Copy, paste. Once more. Nice and easy to do this with the bots. Uh, we've got... Well, we can only do two more right this second. And I need to remember to actually set them to automatic as well. Automatic. And you're good to go. Uh, two more. Let's send our construction spiders back up. And then... Fluid wagons. Need five more of these before we can do it all at once. Have some steel. And let's bump up the performance, shall we? It's a little bit better. Five, six. That should hopefully do it. Seven, eight. Wait, where did the last one go? There we go. And you'll fit in here. And then I need to find room for one more. Whoops. And copy paste this. Don't forget to set them to auto. Fantastic. That didn't take too long. Uh, we need a burner inserter of all things, though. I guess it does make sense if this is fuel and it's inconveniently outside of that substation range.
Okay. Spooters didn't even get scratched. Only the front one is low on rockets. Let's send them to do a bit more. Little zigzag walk will make them dodge the worms more often. Alright, back to resupply. And then... How many core fragments have we got now? Uh, let's see the graph, actually. Core fragment... Uh... We're not getting any... Vulcanite core fragments over the last minute. That's not a good sign. In fact, it flatlined five minutes ago. Although there seems to be a bit of a cycle. Oh, it's probably nighttime on that planet. Okay, so in the last... Uh, in the last hour, we've been doing 502 per minute. Which is pretty comparable to the other ones. Yeah, the belt stopped because it's night time and I don't want to risk running low on power. I could probably set the... Uh, set it so that it's a bit less strict with the accumulators here. Whoops. I guess that technically could have the same setting, but fine. So as long as we've got more than 90% accumulator, that's going to keep going. Um, so now I'm hoping, there it is, we've got sulfuric acid on the way over here now, now that we've got enough fluid wagons. There should, this one's not getting fuel. Oh, wait, I didn't actually set this up to have any fuel yet. Minor detail. Let's remedy that now. Uh, so we're going to want... I guess we'll do it on this side. One, two, three, four. Solid rocket fuel. Actually, should we do the nuclear fuel? Yeah, I think we should. Um, it's actually going to save us a lot of the oil that goes into this. So let's make this nuclear fuel. And just one belt will be sufficient, I think. In fact, it's probably overkill to have more than one uh, train load coming in. That's not quite how I imagined it, actually, but that's fine. Let's do some blue belt, like so. Spooters, I could use some belt, please. A 
that's enough. Um, is this going to reach? Just barely. Not up here though. I'll just put the, uh, actually no, I think it's probably fine. Standard drop off. Yeah, in this instance, I think it's probably fine to just piggyback this across the constant combinator. And we're just going to ask for nuclear fuel, 160. Oh, and before that happens, nuclear fuel uh, requester. Shouldn't be long before there's a train coming with the fuel. Oh, and I almost forgot. Um, I definitely would like to... Do you have a splitter? Yep. Put this on the opposite side. Okay. Actually, strictly on that side, please. Now, why are we not getting a delivery over here? Hey, Ohio Zoro. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, probably because with nuclear fuel I set it up just for short trains. Whoops. Uh, in that case we can simplify this a bit. Uh, let's see. Let's bring this up here. Should be more than enough. This is pretty overkill for just two inserters, actually. How about this? Much better. Right then. Min length three, max length three, uh, and we're requesting 40. That was fast. So once you are fueled... I wonder how the other ones got fueled. They had... Oh, I think some of these came from elsewhere. And they were still on the old fuel over here. That's fine. We can leave that as is. If a fluid train with nuclear fuel goes over here, it's not about to run out of fuel before it ends up getting more. I'm pretty sure. Since a single stack lasts such a long time. Green spiders are coming back. Uh, it might take... That's a weird route. Is this train stuck? It's trying to get back to the fluid depot. There's a lot of trains trying to get back to the fluid depot. Hmm. You're gonna go... Also, that roundabout is not quite complete, or is it? Yes, it is. Uh, signal ordering. Hmm. 
Murphy's Law holds true whenever you want a specific train to get through an intersection quickly. Maybe... Uh, I wouldn't normally stick with this exiting both ways design, but in this case... Uh, I think it would be a good idea to take advantage. In fact, why don't we have none of the trains leaving this direction? Except for this one, I guess. Like so. Except now this one's confused. Fair enough. I think it's going to reset its schedule. Yeah, it did. Um, does that mean we lost the delivery to here? Okay, good. So trains will come in on the left and leave on the right. Which means they're going to take a while to find a place to turn around, actually. That might not be the best idea. So, how about we give them this option as well? And I don't think I need to add any signals to make that work, but this will help. Yep, that'll do. I mean, we could also have some of them directly go onto here. That seems good as well. As long as they are only entering this way, uh, exiting this way. Nice. Why do you think there's no path? Are you trying to go? Oh, probably because there's no path because you were going this way first. That should sort it out. Um, it might... Did we get some fuel here? Yeah, we did. It might take a little while before it reaches this poor little wagon over here. We should see another train coming this way by now. Where's our nuclear? That's definitely full. So why are all the small trains busy? Uh, if this is our only small train depot still, then the answer is yes. That's... How did you get stuck? Because we were messing with this one. Oh, all the trash pickups suddenly stopped being accessible. I suppose I should have set up the trash pickup stations with um, uh, train limit instead of enable disable. What blew up? When you put that track down, blew up. I don't know of anything that blew up in the last few minutes. A cliff. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Cliff explosives. Uh, just start Mamdo. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
I think you'd need some TNT in your inventory for them to do that though. Yeah, it's a blue explosive looking thing called cliff explosives. You can use it yourself or the bots will do it automatically. Okay, so do we have... Now what? No path. No path. Can you not move this way? Apparently not. I don't remember removing that bit of rail. Uh, it's in the robo network. That'll automatically get sorted out. But we need to wait and see. I'm pretty sure I don't need to double check. That is going to work. All right, are these ones okay? Seems good. The other thing, which is the reason why we're having so much trouble with fluid wagons, is uh, the way I set this up. Let's go patch it right now. It'll be easier to explain it that way. Um, so the way I set these up earlier... We're not going to use this anymore, but this was setting a higher priority when we've got less stuff. Um, which, you can pretty much just trust LTN with that, is what I've slowly noticed. But we're setting a high priority, well, higher than the default anyway. And we're requesting water, but there's only a 16k request threshold. Um, I don't know if setting a stack threshold and then setting a higher request threshold would work. Actually, okay, we're going to do that as an experiment. That's the only thing I'm going to change about this one. 100,000 and request stack threshold 160. I'm hoping it'll accept either or. So with water... There's going to need to be room for 100k, and with iron, there's going to need to be room for 16k. Um, but the problem here is uh, that we keep getting trains coming to deliver far less than 100,000 water, which is a pretty big waste of a trip uh, for a fluid wagon, considering it can load and unload. 100k fluid in literally a second. But the other option to make this work is to only request um, I guess we don't need that connected the way I've wired this up is a little inconvenient. Uh, here it is. 53k water. That's the problem right there. Um, we could also use combinators to say if uh, water less than say 100,000 since there's room for 200k, then output water, and then we need an arithmetic, so that instead of 1, we output negative 100,000, which is how we request from LTN. So that'll definitely work. I don't like how many combinators it takes to do that. Uh, if this method works, then I'll be quite pleased. Um, is that a fluid wagon on the way? Kind of hard to tell at the moment. 
That's in the fluid wagon depot, so yes. I think. Well, it could be both the iron trains and the fluid wagon trains that have to stop. Or is it or is that our fluid wagon that's going back home? Uh kinda hard to tell. Okay, I think for this station and for these two, we'll try it that way, partly because that's much more easy to do. And if we stop getting water deliveries over here that are for 50k, um, we'll know that's working. Whoa, that was a little close. Let's go back for resupply. And how's our military doing? We're just chilling. Oh, we found water up here. Fantastic. We want to find water because we want to find the natural barriers so that we can build a wall. Or maybe we could just push the biters back so far that we could just build a mine here and not worry about them. Uh, that's, that's looking a bit difficult at the moment. Uh, it might be easier to just get rid of them off the planet at this rate. Okay. Thirty three K, but that was probably on the way before I made that change. Sixty four K, thirty three K, twenty two K, and you just left the depot. Which one are you going to? This one. Wait, what? This should be the one that... Oh, I forgot to change a bit of wiring here. No? If water less than 100,000, which it is... Hang on, why is the input negative? How did... Oh. Uh, whoops. So much for this being the one that would definitely work. That'll do it. So... Water is... 65k, which is less than 100k, therefore we're requesting 100k. It's kind of a manual um, request threshold, so that we can have a different one for each resource. So how much did you bring? 22k. So we're now up to only 86. Why would you bring only 22k if we had... Because it must have added that to this negative. Alright then. Uh, what about the others? 100k, 16k, 22, 44, 100. Okay, if that one is 100, then I think these settings are actually all we need to change. So for each resource, it'll do stack threshold 
end or request threshold, whichever's lowest, I think. And since fluids ignore stack thresholds, because there's no such thing as a fluid stack, we're asking for 16k iron plate at a time and 100k water at a time. So if we check on that a little bit later, like 10 or 20 minutes or so, uh, hopefully we should find that every water fluid wagon that's scheduled uh, is carrying or going to pick up 100k. Meanwhile, um, I don't know what's going on with our small trains, but apparently they are very, very busy. To the point where it's a problem just to get uh, a pickup for that nuclear fuel. I'll go grab some manually this time. And if it doesn't sort itself out in a little while, after we do some other things, we'll come back and uh, make a make a rail block for. Wait, I thought I did do that. Is there not a rail block that I made for small trains, just like the big one, but they can sort of double up? Uh, let's see. Depots. This is a large one. If I did make it, I didn't blueprint it yet. Or I forgot where I put the blueprint. Um, that's long train depot. Long train depot. Long train depot. Oh, is this it? Yep, there we go. Fantastic. Um, should probably blueprint that. I'm just going to use the satellite view here. Drop a rail block. Uh, and then copy paste this part. So we don't get anything weird on the sides, but we do get the whole thing. Blueprint. Let's see. Uh, eighteen stops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, eighteen. I think there's thirty-six of these. I could have sworn I made a blueprint for it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, times 4, 36. There's definitely a bunch of uh, small trains sitting idle in the depots, so there should be enough trains to do this. It took hardly a second uh, when we first made this stop for LTN to schedule a drop-off for nuclear fuel. Oh, I see what happened. I don't know how we got this drop in the first place, actually. Yep, there it goes. It must have updated the... Actually, I have no idea how we got that small train scheduled the first time. Alright, that's one less thing to worry about. Um, anyway, I wanted to copy the naming convention... Uh, that's a blueprint book. Can we delete this? And then... Create copy. Change this to 36. Thirty-six stop bidirectional LCL. Oops. 
That's locomotive, cargo wagon, locomotive. Fantastic. And now we can make those at will. Fourth planet. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Bing bong. Okie dokie. Um, I will go and deliver some fuel anyway, since I'm here. But I don't think we're going to have much of a problem. Well, actually, considering we can only deliver 40 at a time, it is going to take a little while. Uh, before the fuel saturates this thing. But that's okay. Uh, I am a little concerned about just how much traffic this is causing. Maybe it wasn't the best idea. Maybe I should make a stacker for the um, fluid wagons as they're trying to come into the depots here. Not something I normally do. They're probably... There's enough fluid wagon throughput now, but they're trying to play catch up as well, so there's going to be a lot more traffic at the moment. Um, before they sort themselves out. Alright. Let's just steal a bit of nuclear fuel here. And I'll give it to you directly. There you go. Back to base. They're not going to run out of fuel before this system gets saturated. Hey, Vyasha Slave. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay, so that should mean we do indeed have water and sulfuric acid here. Although, we've run out of the water surprisingly quickly. Uh, we've only got 500 ice on each side of this. Let's prioritize this stop. Actually, we probably shouldn't do that. Um... I think there's only one place that ice is getting sent to in the rail network for now, and that is here. And somehow we already have 32k in the cargo rocket. Wait, did we... Did we make, like, 33,000... Really, really quickly. No, it doesn't look like it. Wait, why can't I... S oh, there it is. Oh yeah, that was a really big spike. It was actually 24 minutes ago. So we're constantly making 228 per second. That's just from... I think it's just from here? Oh, it was 228 per minute or something, right? Yep, there it is. This thing alone, 228 per minute. Um, yes. And we had a really sharp spike that very, very briefly went up to 734 per minute. Hmm. I suspect... Oh. Oh, that's per minute. Even so, 3,000 water per... This one pipe can't even keep up with that. Um, 
3,000 water per minute. I think that is a bit much to count on trains for. Uh, I kind of built this thing a bit far from the ocean, though. Where is it? It's not that far, actually. All right, in this instance, um, I'm just going to run some pipes. Probably should have checked just how much water this would need first. Um, 3,000 per second means if this was full... Uh, it's literally just going to last a bit over a minute. Not that the water trains couldn't keep up with that theoretically, but I think uh, that kind of constant throughput for water is not really... Like, we use a water train because it's more convenient if it's in the middle of the land mass and the fluid throughput is not that high. 100k, good. Uh, actually, let's do that thing I talked about and check all of these. You're doing 33k. It's actually this one. The only train stop that I thought would definitely work properly. Uh, this is the only one that we're having issues with. Uh, let's get our construction spiders with. Uh, with? Let's get them here. And... We need at least two pumps. Uh, I suppose... It'll have to be here. Unless I want to remove some of these. Can we fit that there? Yes, good. Perfect. No. Bad. Ungood. Very bad. Fine, I guess we'll do it here. Can't even get it across there. Um, pipe. And pipe. And then, bring this one all the way to the other side. Uh, I think I already put the construction spiders over here. Good. Actually, that wiring looks wrong. Don't know if it'll make a difference or not. Uh, I'm just gonna... Remove all of... wait, what? Spiders, please move. Just gonna remove all of the wiring there and then copy-paste it, just to be sure. Alright, that should do it. That looks right. Right then.
Uh, so I think we've got our pipe laid out to go down here. It's blueprint. Snap to grid relative. Hope that lines up somewhere helpful. Nope. That'll do. I think I need to turn down the autosave frequency a little bit. Oh, it's only 30 minutes. Doesn't feel like it. I mean, it is 30 minutes. Let's bump it up. Uh, 45 is getting a bit iffy. Like, if something bad actually happened... It, like, if a game crash happens or something, it would not feel good to have to go through more, more than 30 minutes of stuff. Of course I'm carrying no belt. That's actually pretty convenient. Alright, luckily, I was going to say luckily we have our construction spiders here, but... They're slacking off. We'll just get them to come over here to start with. And as for myself, back to the main base. Now is looking pretty good if half of the steam turbines are slacking off. They'll pick up a bit during the night. Actually, it's getting dark already. It's looking pretty good. How about our orbital base? Spooders should be resupplied by now. Won't be too much longer before I need to get them to pick up all of the uh, uh, special buildings. And they don't have anything else to build. In fact, I think they're almost... Should probably start getting requests for them to carry that stuff already. Uh, decontamination facility. And then... Particle accelerator. Computers. Computer. 15, sure, why not? And one more. Mechanical facility. Uh, 15, 255, 255. There we go. Oh, they were carrying decontamination facilities. I'm a little bit surprised that didn't somehow get built before. Uh, we also need some thermal reactors. Carrying the belt already, good. 
Alright, that's a few jobs for them to do. Um, how's our ice looking? Not so good until we get the water down there. Small. That should do it. Water go burn. And one more of these. There we go. Although it's not looking so fast at the moment. There should be. Uh, theoretically, 2,400. It says it's going at 2,000. Oh, we need 3,000, don't we? To keep this thing going at full speed. Yeah, so that's actually one more pipe. I don't know why I thought two pipes would do it. Uh, it'll get to 24k with two pipes. We can run a third pipe uh, directly next to these ones. Conveniently enough. And I don't know yet if we're going to need a pump uh, to keep up with all this. These are going to need to move back a tile. Which means these go up here, I think. No. Let's just remove those for now. Um... I guess the middle one, which is this one, uh, let's not confuse ourselves. Spooters, could you please start building this? That's the correct length. And once more. I suppose some uh, of the long space pipes would have been a good idea here. Alright, middle one, it should go, actually let's keep that, here I think, hmm, I kind of don't want them to mix there. And this one goes here. Now we just have to finish building it. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised, although it is only eight machines, but it's maximum speed that we would need three pumps to keep up with that. Offshore pumps, that is. I kind of wish you could toggle whether or not the spiders had to stop. Uh, there's a checkbox that says enable logistics while moving. 
but what I'd really like is to have a checkbox for enable construction bots while moving. Oh, and these two pipes coming from here to here are going to bottleneck the whole thing. Um, so. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I don't think it's going to cut it. No, that should be fine. This pipe can go here. And then we need one going sort of to the middle, and one to the side. And these should be kind of a closer distance apart from each other. Hey, fat boy, not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do you not have issues with core ore smelting creating too much water? I can't get rid of it all. I just tank it up and delete, restore it when it backs up. Um, you can automate deleting uh, water with a electric boiler. There's a recipe that turns 100 water into zero steam. You'll have to pay power for it, obviously, but uh, there's not a whole lot of water that you get out of the ore mining, so it doesn't add up to... Ho I was going to say it doesn't add up to much, but apparently I calculated the ratio that we might need two electric boilers. Uh, that's for this entire block, though. OMG setting that up shortly, no worries. Um, I should probably turn on my logistics while I'm back in the base. Oh, and let's have our spiders see where this coast goes. And this one, time to figure out where the next wall is going to be. It's going to be a lot easier to build with our construction spiders as well. Also... We've had such a long time to accumulate, well, everything except for batteries in our main bus base, it seems like. I should probably re-enable that request. Uh, there's room enough. Batteries... Go here. We did get our fuel sorted out, didn't we? Yep, good. That's a pretty big oil field. Can the spiders technically get there? I'm actually a bit curious. Either they'll not... They'll lean out and this will count, or... They're not leaning out as far as I thought they would. What if I try to send them here? They lean out a bit further. Interesting. Uh, this lake or whatever it is is going a lot further than I anticipated. Which is good, actually.
Okay, so how's our ice production? Looking a lot better, even if it's not going at full speed. It's enough. And I guess in this instance I'll get rid of the request for water to be delivered here. Uh, how fast would this be at full speed? It's only 30 per second. But then it's not like we're going to be consuming anywhere near as quickly, I think. Uh, if this was going full speed all the time, which it won't be, we're looking at 32 per second. Huh. It's worse than I thought, actually. But... It's almost going full speed. Very almost. The one in the middle, not so much, but it's still pretty quick. Does that mean we'd have to get a fourth pipe involved here? This one's not going... This this one's actually stuck. Alright. So why is that? Must be a pipe missing somewhere. Hopefully that's all it takes. Uh... Oops. No, that should work. Maybe it would be better if I was putting it into this storage tank. It shouldn't be at zero, though. 7.1k, 69k, 69k. It's definitely not connected to the same fluid network. Here is the culprit. That's it. So now we've got a, approaching 3,000 water per second. For some reason this one's a bit slower. Uh, hopefully it's because water's accumulating. Well, I don't know if it's going to take a moment for that to work properly, but... We can already see a bit of an improvement. So our actual rate of production of ice. Um, this is 228. Over the last five seconds we've been doing 1.5k. So this is like 1.2k right here. Per minute that is. If only there was such an easy way to void other resources. Yeah, I know. Can that recipe be prod moduled? It cannot, unfortunately. Um, I definitely would have prodded it if I could have. Uh, but yeah, that's a decent rate. I think it'll be enough. Probably. Uh, how much does this stack to? 200. So we need 32k before... Um, I don't want to hard prioritize this side, but... What I might do... Is say there has to be one train load on this side. Uh, before... We start sending it to the left as well. Thirty-two K. Right then. What's next on the agenda for the orbital base? Oh, a 
whole lot of belt. Let's park them here. That should just about maximize what they'll get done. Um, we've got so much Vulcanite here. Might be better if we had a dedicated landing pad for this. And we'll do a purple chest to get rid of the other stuff. Actually, we should probably have like a balanced loader, right? Let's do that first so we know where it's going to be. Uh, I'll go there in person because I'm going to get rid of the requester chests. Actually, I'll leave them here for the moment. But actually, actually, I want to turn these into steel chests at least for a second so that I can put my fast loader blueprint here, balanced that is, and then we can put this back. Now we know where we want to put our uh, landing pad. Capsule goes here. Cargo rocket sections go here. And there we go. Uh, these should be filter inserters. Stack filters, that is. That's probably super overkill and I don't care. Bulk and night. Uh, blue belt. That'll do. Then we'll call this... Nervous Vulcanite back to Ariel. Target is Nervous Vulcanite, and why don't why is the launch delayed? Waiting for target landing pad to empty. Oh, is it not? Huh? I think the landing pad was probably not here yet. And maybe it just didn't refresh this launch button text. Yep, there we go. Alright. I don't see why not set this to launch on cargo full for now. I think that'll give us two or three more rockets with the supplies I've already sent there. And here comes our cargo. Beautiful. Uh, considering they can only put on half a belt, this is actually... Only having fast inserters is sufficient here. Unless I were to go and... Something like this. Should probably change some of my... Requests. Now that I'm back on solid ground. How long does it take to get some belt over here? 
Here it comes. Oh, that's my logistics as well. Now we're bottlenecked on the fast inserters. I think. There we go. It's not getting to the end of the belt here. This one's just because that's over full compared to the others. Right there. How much Vulcanite do we have here already? 5.7k. Once that hits 8, we should see a train coming. And that will mean, at least for a while, we should finally get some Iridium flowing again. I'm hoping the upgrade that we've made to uh, Vulcanite Core Mining is going to be enough to get a steady supply of that. But if not, in the meantime, we'll keep sending rocket parts to... Uh, Marielle, as we continue to mine this uh, Vulcanite block here. Let's see. Or fragment. Uh, Vulcanite is looking like 800 per minute. That doesn't seem bad. That's the core fragments. We need to do the math for how much we actually get out of it. Um, let's see. But uh, kind of hard to know how much Vulcanite is getting made here consistently because we're mining Vulcanite directly uh, for the moment on Marielle. Right, where's my speedy spider? Back to base. Uh, shooty spider. Do your thing. Is this finally the end of this massive thing of water? Nope. Oh, is that an island? Didn't need to kill those. Rip. Also, if I want to do exploring, I should probably use the Navsat. A derp. That's actually a huge body of water. That should be where I'm doing my... Uh, we've got plenty of room here still for nuclear power. And a lot more nuclear power than we need. For a while. Uh, but yeah, I should actually remember to use the nav set for exploration like that. Oop. Chunks be loading. That's a lot of biters. Alright. Let's keep going. Actually, I think we've already found the best spot to build a wall up here. Although the pollution cloud has already gone past it, so maybe not. Circle strafe to victory. Should 
should go pretty well. I'd better check how many rockets they've got after doing that. Why are they stuck? Okay, they're fine. Actually, they're already damaged. Let's send them back for resupply. Turn off that ghastly pollution. Right then. I think if I were designing this again, I would definitely put uh, a storage tank of water right on top of each uh, chemical plant making the ice. How much ice have we got here? 32k still, so there hasn't been another delivery. It's going to take a while. We could make more of this here, but that would mean even more water needs to be pumped down this way. If I'd known it was going to be this water intensive, I never would have built it here. I uh, probably would have built like a built it right next to the coast, actually. Are you going to get in range of that? Yes. Except for that one worm. I'm really surprised how far the coast goes up here. It's pretty convenient for us. So it is looking like this will be the place to build a new wall. And then we can get that sweet, sweet uranium. Uh, let's check on the orbital base. Should be doing this more often. Much belt over here. I'm tempted to make construction spiders have, like, eight roboports just so they have ridiculous range so I can click and forget uh, more often but I don't think I don't think doubling the roboports gives you like double the range it's gonna be up to like here or something and then the not enough space for power How much have we got up here in turn? Oh, 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 that's what I've been meaning to do on Nalvis. We need to make rough data storage substrates with a productivity bonus. Uh, since it's going to go into... Why, why don't we do it right here? Because it's going to go into this rocket right here. I was going to do a line of... Okay, I will leave these two vacant so that we can do more oil here and then we can drink this water and stop delivering that by train um, or at least deliver it less often thankfully it's an easy recipe oh yeah definitely um, but yeah I want to set up this block nice and close to its dest uh, the destination for Rough data storage substrates. I think I'll put them here. Um, I can't remember what they stack to. We'll soon find out. And I'll put this icon here first. Just so we don't forget. I need some construction spiders down here. Input rail goes here. Output rail goes here.
Um, so I think it's just two in, one out for this recipe, right? Only it also makes scrap. That's the only complicated thing about it. Can I do this like so? If that lines up properly, that's how I'm going to do it in future. I think it does. Yeah. That's cool. I think that's the correct spot. Yep. Uh, so I think we'll do our shared input with this one. May as well copy that from somewhere else. We've been doing those recently. Here it is. Nope, wrong one. Uh, here we go. I thought I had one on the left somewhere, though. Apparently not. Also, let's get a feel for how much space we're going to need. How much throughput we're going to get. Front module... And power. So this is 4.75 per second. Uh, we know we can fit more than 300 if we really want to. That is 178 per second. That that means we're going to be able to get uh, four blue belts of output. 0.59 per second. 0.59 per second. I thought so. 0 0.5940. 0 0.5940. Excellent. Except there's just one problem. Uh, we have to get rid of the scrap as well. Um, as usual, I find myself wishing I could do filtered long arm inserters. The shape of this is pretty typical output belt down the middle. We can't just put these on the same output belt and then filter them if we're going to aim for the four blue belts of final product. So I think we're going to have to slow it down a little bit. Um, there is a little bit of unused space in this block. Oh, here it is. That's what I was looking for earlier. Uh, let's just move this first, and then if this goes here, so this gives us uh, 90 per second for both resources, and those two resources are iron and glass, I think. Yep. We actually need twice as much iron as glass, but, oh, that's going to be a problem. Four and two for the inputs, whereas for this thing it's one and one. We don't need the full throughput for the uh, red sides. If this is less than 180, we're fine. But... Considering we need 
uh, three times as many items, and it's not even on both sides of the belt. The bottleneck's... If we do it this way, the bottleneck's going to be the iron plate on one side of the belt. So we can do 180 iron plate per second. How many blocks like this does that add up to? Uh, only 12. Hmm. 4 to 2. There isn't a meaningful way to split that across the train stations and half train stations. If it was like two to six, we could do it. Um, so 12 blocks like this requires four blue belts of iron and two blue belts of glass. I think we're just going to have to go with that, um, and that'll mean there's plenty of space for the scrap that we have to deal with. Um, so... Question is... How do we deal with the scrap as well? Uh... So if I have 12 blocks like this, 172 iron plate per second in, four blue belts. I would have to have eight input belts if I want to do it with a shared input belt like that. Um, I'm pretty sure we can fit eight of these crossways. Depends on how we deal with the scrap. Um, what if we do scrap out like this? And... Wait, how fast is scrap going to be? Uh, only 28 per second. So we could do some belt weaving, I guess. Like this. Rough data storage substrate. Don't have any red belt on me. There we go. And if we do it like that, we can have the standard three tiles between each of these. That actually might be just by far the easiest way to design this. And like so. Fast inserters are going to be enough, I think. Way more than enough for the inputs. And if we can fit eight of these, well, how far, um, no, we, we definitely need it to be eight wide. So the question of how far down it goes, considering we only need 12, is kind of irrelevant. Um, the input here is only 14.4 iron plate per second. So... Actually, that means we can't go too down here. Uh, worst case, we could do a beacon that only touches like four of these below 
however many of these it takes. Uh, but first, let's confirm that we can fit eight of these across. That's actually perfect. And how many of these does it take to reach 180? Uh, There's like 300 or so, right? That's too much iron plate in. Um, One, two, three, four. Yeah. We can do 180 iron plate per second in. That's exactly 100 machines. Uh, we can fit all of the output on one red belt for scrap and a couple of belts for, for the. Uh, Rough data storage substrates. Alright, so how many is this? 64. Uh, it's going to be a very... Very wide and not tall build. So, what's the most elegant way to fit more of these? Um, we need 36 more. 36 is not a multiple of 8. We could do 6 sixes. I think that would be the probably the most elegant build. Two, three, four, five, six. Considering how much space this doesn't take up, um, I almost want to try doubling it and doubling the input stations. It's going to be a little bit tight down the bottom. Let's set these up. Iron plate, glass, glass, and iron plate. And copy paste to victory. And I would copy paste rotate, but well, yeah, everything's going to be backwards. Also, the belt is not going to be right. So let's copy this part. Belt because snap. And then we need a 90 per second output. Actually, I think I can copy that from somewhere. Where was it? Over here? And then... Like this. I 
we have one, two, uh, let's see. The input is in the middle, so for each substation is one input. Eight inputs, that's going to be nice and easy to balance. course you would be sticking out where the substation can't get you. Alright, let's double check our rate. Exactly four blue... two... two belts of glass, four belts of iron required. Um, half belt times two is one belt. One, two, three, four. So if we can fit this all over again. We need to fit it uh, with the rail and with all the other input belts. And then we have to get all the inputs to the new machines. So no, I think uh, trying to double this is going to become a very difficult mess. Um, it's fine, we'll just have a bit more space left over than usual. And this goes here. Good. Uh, actually, considering we have uh, less than two belts of output, we're not going to need more than one station. Might put the uh, the arithmetic combinator over this side, actually. Oops. Spiders can build. Uh, where's my blueprint? Winning for fast balance loaders. Oh, and we do need another station here. It's going to be scrap. There we go. Alright, so... Pick up stations. We can always make early. I have to make sure everything's set up perfectly before we do that. Provide stack threshold. That's all it takes. And this goes here. Already gave you a name. Scrap. Maybe I could use all this extra space to deal with the scrap. Um, but then it's going to get a bit complicated. We get iron, copper, stone, and heavy oil out of it. Uh, how much does it take? One per second. So without speed modules, I would need like 30 of these. That's a lot. We might be able to fit them in the block with the space we've got left over, though. 
considering this is 72. That's 32. Not that they'll be this far apart, but we could definitely fit that. Uh, normally I would do the scrap processing in a separate rail block, but if we're getting pushed towards having this much spare space in this build, and it's like exactly enough space to comfortably deal with the scrap locally, then I don't see why we shouldn't deal with it here. Um, I'm either going to need three... three separate stations for all of the outputs, or I'm going to have to load everything from the same station. That does carry with it the risk of the very rare, I think it's caused by power problems, um, the system not loading quite correctly and a train getting stuck. But I have a strong suspicion that if I build these things on their own separate little power network, then it's never going to be a problem. Hey, Mobel. Good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a great day also. Um, so is it each? Yeah, this is set filters blacklist. And I think it's just that each divided by negative 24 output each is how we do this one. Yep. So this will balance load up to five physical items. And apart from using a filter inserter and setting it to blacklist, it's actually the exact same design as the other Uh, balance loader. Okay, there's definitely more scrap in than there is physical products out. So we're definitely going to be able to fit all of this on one belt. That's good. Um, I need some recycling bobs. And I want to see how it looks with beacons and probably productivity modules. I almost don't want to put productivity modules on the um, uh, 100 scrap makes one landfill, really? Um, what am I doing? Scrap recycling. This actually turns empty barrels into scrap. So you can convert steel into iron, copper, stone, and heavy oil. It's kind of weird. All right, can we productivity this? We cannot, speed it is. How many does it take to reach, I think it's 30-ish scrap per second, 29.7. 29.4, that's painfully close. Uh, unfortunately we can't fit eight of these under one beacon. But, yeah, actually if we use speed beacons for this, um... We're still gonna have a lot of space left over, which is fine. So, why don't we put you together like this. 
and then just trying to think the best layout here if we use belt since we're doing this uh, since we're committing the sin of belt weaving already in this block we may as well do it again Where did my recycling facility go? I could have sworn I had at least one here. Did a spider pick it up and put it in a trash slots? I think that's what happened. And now it's gone forever. Or until they go resupply. So if we do this a couple of times, um, give me some belt, please. And I was muted there, wasn't I? Whoops. Right. And I think we just do this a couple of times. Oh, um, it would probably be good if we brought the oil together in more of a neat way. Can I stop getting rid of those? Thank you. So I think we'll do the same thing over here. And that's pretty much going to be all it takes. Uh, we'll have the fluid pick up down this way. Pump goes here. Subs go here. Actually make it here. That's a little frustrating, actually. That's fine, I guess. Alright, I suppose we'll move these as close as they can go. Uh, technically that would work, but I feel like it might be a little better if we merge them. Would you be able to show a pickup station of two item types? I remember you working on one last year and it escaped me. How you keep the inserters off the tracks with items in it. Sure. So I'm gonna have to do it here actually, so let's set that up right now. These are need to gonna need to be stack filter inserters. And I like to use red wire for this part. For each of these we're going to set the filters 
to decide what and when we're putting stuff in the train. And we're going to set the stack size with signal S. And on the red wire, that's going to be connected to all of them. When we get really close to finishing loading a cargo wagon, we want just one inserter to be active still for each cargo wagon. So we're going to connect those like so. Green wire is connected to just one per cargo wagon. And I might try doing, I, I might try building this backwards. It's often good in Factorio building a production chain to work backward from the conclusion. Um, I'm going to try to do that with circuits here. So what we want to end up with is uh, the number of items that we still need to load into the train with the item type divided by 24 chests. And we need that same number to be the stack size that we're setting. That's going to go on the red wire. And once that drops below 24, we need a decider actually. Uh, once that drops below 24, we just want a stack size of 1 for the green inserters, the green wire inserters. So since the default stack size, if you are using set stack size, is 1, if you don't give it a signal, we don't need another combinator for that. Um, and this is just going to be each less than 24 output each. Could be one, could be input count, doesn't really matter. That is going to go to our four inserters. Next, uh, we just need to get the amount of stuff that we're still trying to put in the train. So we, for that we need two things, the logistic train stop output uh, will have among other things what the train is asking for according to LTN, and if we read the train contents, let me just set the train stop name first. Uh, provider. I actually want to change these to active provider chest for the naming convention. These are going to be uh, pickups that I set as high priority because we need to make sure we get rid of this stuff, otherwise it's going to block what we're actually trying to produce. So we're going to set that as a high priority provider. Provide priority 100. Re provide stack threshold. We're going to bump it up a little bit higher than normal uh, for reasons I'll get into in a moment. Uh, but yeah, so this is the part where I'll cheat a little bit just to make it easier. Uh, where's those two combinators? I wonder where the best spot to put them is. So from LTN, we're getting what the train is asking for. We're also going to get some signals that are not useful for us and going to be a hindrance given how we're using each, I think. So we use this to get rid of them. Negative a million on all of these signals and this just says each greater than zero output each. We are also going to get um, a negative of 
what's already in the train. Triple X Poser, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, so this is the, let's say, 16k iron plate that the train is asking for. This is what's already in the train as a negative. And between the two of them, that gives us how much more we need to put in the train. That looks kind of back to front with the wiring and stuff. Let's try this. Yeah, I definitely like that better. And I th think that's it, question mark? Let me just double check on one of my previous builds here. This one's a lot harder to figure out because the layout's different. Also, it's got a bit of my old design where I use more combinators. Uh, but the principle should be the same. Uh, we've got times mi minus one what's already in the train. Uh, red wire here. Oh, I think I messed up the way that's bit that bit's laid out. So on this red wire is how much we're still trying to put in the train. That might work out to be the same. So this is the positive amount that we want in total, minus, uh, minus what's already in the train. Read train contents isn't going to give us any of these weird signals. Yeah, I think that's fine. That actually has the same effect, right? Would it then be 24 chests per side, so copy-paste onto the other side of the track? Uh, you could do that if you want to divide that by 48, if you want to use 48 chests. Now, the reason uh, I'm setting the uh, provide threshold a bit higher than a full train so there won't be a delivery until there's extra available here, is if you make it super precise uh, and the train comes and, like, you're trying to put the last few items in from just this chest as opposed to all six of these, uh, it may get stuck for a while. Which is suboptimal. I feel like having a red belt for input, since that's going to be more consistent. We do it like this. And blue belt does indeed reach over there, just barely. That can be our output. I feel like doing it like this just to be more consistent. And then... That's going to be both sides, that's going to be both sides. Kind of need to merge it with a splitter. That's actually going to be okay. Fat Pirate Swag, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And then... Um, I think that's it. I kind of want that to connect there, and then we can connect these up like so. That's a very convenient fit right there. Actually, that's painfully close to being good. Let's bring this down a bit. Literally just two tiles down. Uh, 
Uh, also, there needs to be room. No, the substation doesn't quite reach. Well, that's a little sad. What's the neatest way to power this up? I don't think there is one. Um, and yeah, obviously having the fluid pick up in the same place as well. That's a problem that sorts itself out. You're not going to accidentally put fluid in the cargo wagon or vice versa. Let's add some pipe here. Where's the neatest spot to connect the wires? Doesn't seem to be one. That's hideous. Let's just do it at the end. Oh. That's going to include the heavy oil. I think that's going to be okay. You can't put a heavy oil um, filter on an inserter anyway. Right then, we need to figure out belt layout. Uh, we've got our one, two, three, four belts of iron and glass. That's going to go one, two, three, four. That's actually incredibly straightforward. Uh, one, two, three, four. This is our target. We move all of these up a bit and find that we have even more space available. Wait, that's not right. We need to move that down at least one tile. I think we're going to need more than one tile here. Oops. Uh, that's not where that goes. Once more. That should do it. And then I'm hoping we can just mirror this. Oh, that's, uh, that's actually perfect, except for this bit because of the way the signals are, which is obviously not a big deal. Just do it like that. Destruction spiders, do you think? And there's actually so much space left over. I'm almost tempted all over again to try doubling this. Oh, I have a... I have an idea.
I think I like this idea. Okay. It depends on... It shouldn't be difficult, actually. Where's the middle between these? This is 13, perfect. That should be in the center. Good. And we'll do a curve. The smallest one we can. I think that's it. Probably make that go both ways. For the symmetry gods. I'm missing it, or you have no input belts in most left and right production. Um, I was going to say I put the input belts in the middle. But apparently I forgot that one. One, We've got definitely got eight inputs here, right? Yeah. This one... How did I... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that doesn't go there. Okay, if that's the only mistake I made, I'm going to be quite happy. Looks like it. Oh, that's not an input. I did it again. Uh, this goes here. And all of these are actually outputs. Glad I found that before going for the copy-paste flip. Uh, I kind of want to... I'll blueprint this, because I'm going to need some of this logic later. Scrap. Recycling. Just gonna put that down here for now. Just add it to this random mess. Okay. Delete all of this. And then probably help if I set up the stations here. Let's do a standard drop-off, uh, but I want to switch the, out, uh, the constant combinators off until we're absolutely sure we're ready. And this is going to be iron plate and glass requester green wire goes here and then paste flip
one little change I'm going to want to make. If we can get our spiders to help. Is I like the Ys to be a bit less visible. So I'll put that over there. And this goes over here. Other than that, it's all good. Um, and then we're going to put our output stations over here. I'm assuming we have room. I think we do. This is going to need to be a chain signal, as is this. I get rid of that straight one without going over there. Apparently not. Did we run out of rail? No. Also, why is there no rail here? That's concerning. Uh, let's fill this out. Right then. Regular in, chain out. Uh, we should allow them to come in this way as well. Only trouble is... We can do that on that side, but not... Oh, this is fine, actually. Yeah, that happens to be on the side that works best for where we need to put the signals. Although the trains exiting will only be able to go this way and this way. I think that's fine. So was there anything I had to put over here? Yes. And it looks like uh, we don't quite have room to do a train stop on both sides. Unless... No, we just don't. Actually, we do. This is going to be a bit unconventional, but... Is that in the middle? This is the middle. Yeah, it is. So the two train stops are going to overlap a little bit. But considering we're only getting 30 scrap per... S oh, it's going to be 60 scrap per second, isn't it? Hmm. That's still not that fast. Although, I'm guessing it only stacks to 50. Scrap. 50. So that's actually more than a stack per second, which means uh, a train to come pick it up less than every three minutes. Uh, as for our uh, rough data storage substrates, we're looking at 118 per second. Yeah, I don't think I want to have the train stops overlapping here. We probably have room. I could maybe make this part asymmetrical. They can go in and out this way, that works. Um, so bring this... hold on. 
bring this down one. And move this one up a bit. And who knows, we might, um, we might space these so that they're more in the center. Where exactly is the center? This thing right here is center left, this is center right. That's, uh, gonna be... Somewhat possible? Not really. So that would mean our chests go here. And here. Can we do better than that? I know that this right here is the center. That's not much better, is it? I think it's a little better. Right, so that is as central as we get. If we're getting, um, a hundred and eighteen, it's a bit less than three blue belts, which means half of it is more than one blue belt. If it's going to be symmetrical, which it probably has to be, um, we're going to need two blue belts of input uh, for the data storage substrates. Preferably merged and then split, otherwise we're going to be dependent on which train stop gets which resource. Um, And for scrap, the entire thing is going to be more than one blue belt, I think. Yeah, 59. Two blue belts total. Wait, if one of these stations is um, rough data storage substrate, then it needs pretty much four blue belts input. Hey, Veldek. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, maybe like that. And not doing too badly, thanks. So let's see. We've got our outputs here. One quarter of this whole thing gives us less than one blue belt. That's actually extremely convenient. Um, I'm very tempted to just not have a big merger and have all of these. If we, especially if we use a balanced loader. The, other, the resources are going to have to get delivered to all the input stations to make this work. One, two, three, four. So it needs to be two belts. Oh, except these aren't even. Ah, uh, this again.
if I do merge them all, um, I don't think we need a lane balancer, a belt balancer will probably do. But we're a bit short on space if we do it like that. Since we only need two belts of input for the strap, maybe we move all of these down a couple of tiles. That would give us three tiles to work with here. That might be a problem as far as getting this stuff where it needs to go is concerned. Beldak, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Uh, four months. Wow. I feel like I say this a lot, but it always uh, uh, sort of surprises me how long I've been doing this when I see that. Spider spam for the win. One, two, three, four. That doesn't go there. Hmm. Really, the only problem left is the belts. Other than that, I'm quite happy with this layout. Uh, we could always just move this down two tiles and leave this one where it is. It wouldn't be the perfect picture of symmetry anymore, but... It would. It was already not that because we're putting uh, multiple belts of rough in one of these stations and just two belts of scrap in the other one. I just took my first pyramid, the Tesla gun made easy work of the biters, and I got a speed 9. Nice. Not sure where to use it now. Uh, the way modules are finite in Satisfactory, at first I thought it was going to make it really... Um, you actually have to make some decisions about where they go, but you end up getting so many, it's just like, oh, we can pretty much put these in every single resource node. Uh, the speed module type things. Scrap. Oops. Scrap. Uh, I'll call it an active provider since we need to make sure we get rid of it. So if we continue with this pattern... Don't mind this so far. Uh, we should probably merge these two, actually. Let's just double check. A quarter is... A quarter of the whole build is less than... Significantly less than one blue belt. Good. Yesterday I discovered all the places in the universe. Um, did you actually visit them all yet? Get cracking. So this is gonna go like this. And like this. I haven't visited them. And why not? I don't think I'm going to have room to merge all these, considering where these have to come from. Um, 
I hope I'm just wrong. What if we do that then? This goes... Wait, what? Flippy flip. That goes there. I will visit one more, which I just checked out. Can't you make one station, uh, one resource output, and the other station the other resource? Um, that is what I'm doing. Th this one's going to be rough data storage substrate, and this is going to be scrap. But we have to get each resource from both sides of this build to their destinations. Um... Ideally, I want to bring them all to one spot and merge and split them, but it might be difficult with the belts that we've got. Let's bring this one through here. And that's a little bit awkward. But it's fine. Sort places by flag. Check if there's other icon for pyramid. Oh yeah, like this. Alright, let's swap this one around because I like these better close up. Um, and we need to... For the last time, all of this is less than one belt. Okay, so we're going to merge this here, I think. That's tragically short. This one look a bit better like this. Alright, so all of this gets merged into one belt, which goes directly up here. All of this gets merged into one belt, which goes here. These four need to be merged into one belt. That's not going to work. It's going to be something like this. And then we just need... This is actually going to be easier than I thought at this rate. Seems good. And we'll do what we did on this side. Um, can I just flip this? That's all going to work out. Oh, this is without the flip. There we go. I think that looks right.
I like how there's just enough room to pull this off. Uh, so, this one goes here, this one goes here, and these two go here. I feel like this looks slightly better. Nice. That's actually... I'm actually quite pleased with that. Um... The only trouble is, can we get the red belts where they need to go? Uh, just to double check, uh, the whole thing, we're looking at 59 scrap per second. That is problematic. I'll keep it red belt since it'll be a bit easier to follow. I don't think these guys are carrying... Oh, they do have red belt. Fantastic. Um, can I stop throwing mine away, though? And this... Now, obviously, this one's going to have to be a little bit different. But I think that'll be okay. We need two red belts going this way. And don't tell me we're going to have just enough. Oh, that's not quite right. We're going to have just enough room for this as well. I love to see it. So, I think what we might do is have the red belt go the other way, and we can merge it all over here. Might be a bit neater, instead of trying to do it where we're merging the blue belt. One of the input belt connects to output belt. Oh, sorry. Okay, cool. It is very helpful that for both, for each side, we only need one red belt for the whole thing. Um, just to make sure I avoid mistakes, I kind of want to remove all of the red undergrounds that we've got here so far. And here as well. And this bit can go back to normal. So what we're going to do is like this. And we can belt weave, so that's going to be relatively easy. I th think here... Yeah, is going to be maybe the best spot for it. We're going to have to be a little bit tricky in some places, but that's okay. realize you could copy that across different uh, colors. That's kind of handy. This goes here. Oh, 
Where is this going to merge in? Would it be better to do it here or over here? I feel like that's just going to look better. Watch Aurora on YouTube by Defrag. What be that? Same thread. More insane game to try when taking break from Pi. Aurora from Pi. Oh, it's a totally different game. This is turning out easier than I expected so far. There's no reason not to expect it to stay uh, fairly easy on the other side either. a little unfortunate. I think I'll do it here. Luckily we do have enough room. Um, this one might be a bit more problematic. Let's see. Maybe I should merge it to go down here instead. So if this goes here, remember we only need one uh, red belt for the entire thing. Although, if it doesn't load evenly on each side, that could actually be a problem. Um, we could always... We can't always upgrade the main bit to blue belt. Hmm. Okay, this one is going to be one side only. This one... is... a little bit on the same side. It should be symmetrical. Yeah, as long as I merge it all properly, it should be fine. So if I don't do something like this, for example, um, that should be okay. Although, if that stays on the far side of the belt, that should actually work out to be the same. Although I don't love the look of it anyway. So let's be safe. And merge that in there. Have you scanned surface yet? Visited only one, but I found only one more, not three. Yep. Right, so that's our red belt for that side. And that's going to come over here. That's unfortunate. Let's do it like that. Maybe. Maybe not. That's kind of a better fit. And I think the obvious conclusion to work backward from here... Uh, 
That fits a little bit. Fortunate. Let's do it like this. Oh, that still reaches. Fantastic. I think the obvious conclusion to work backward from here is to do it like this. Which means we'll be doing the same thing on both sides. Uh, we'll probably merge this in the same way. Does that mean I can... Surely it's not going to be as easy as copying all of this, right? I'll have to remove a bit of rail. Uh, it looks like the red belt is going the wrong way if I do that. All right, let's, what if I blueprint this, remove everything but the red belt, that includes the random crafting combinator blueprint settings that I don't know why they're there. Okay, so that's our blueprint, and then we... Double rotate flip, I think. That's going to be hard to line up. No, I think that's, that's it except for like two tiles. Nice. Symmetry rules. And this is already correct because I already built it. Right then. Uh, so I think all that's left to do is set up the stations. Um, I would like to get the spiders resupplied. I don't want to wait for them to come back just yet, so let's get the supply train to bring us modules and stuff. Uh, despite the belt balancer we've got here. We will do a balanced loader. And on this side as well. I think I already set the station names. Yep. This goes here. And this goes here. And then... We got our standard pickups. Blueprints might be there due to modded structures. If I remember correctly from my Brief excursion into modding, you can only add structures by modifying vanilla ones, but often you need to add further functionality and state information. Then use a lot of fusing together of structures ensues. That sounds like black magic. Alright, that seems okay. And uh, one moment please.
All right, sorry about that. Um, so we've got our standard pickup, got the names, got the wiring. We do not have the wiring. And these aren't in the same spot, so we don't need any special circuitry to make this work. Uh, I just realized I was bringing the spiders back. I don't know if they're resupplied. I'll grab stuff from the train this time. And maybe some filters, I don't know. What else are we missing here? Some belt. I don't think I have red belt in this train. That's right, we needed prod modules and stuff. And I think we already have all the machines. Spiders are probably resupplied by now. Let's make sure they don't run into the water. Uh, did we actually finish this build ourselves, though? I think so. Now we just need a few substations for the train stops. Uh, that'll have to do. That's about as neat as that's going to get. Oh, we're missing a red belt. So yeah, we need the spiders back here. And some underground blues. Uh... I already have the underground blues. Oh, there they go. No, I didn't. It was just... I forgot I set this to a strict 50. Right then. Why don't we turn on the train stops? One, two, three. Really? Three, four. And we should have a train coming pretty soon. Uh, did the spiders just take a shortcut across the nuclear reactors? Mass produce rough data car? Yes, indeed. Noxyway Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Also, a uh, cool band name. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Thought I saw you yesterday. Except it says you're a first time chatter. Not worthy? Wait, what? Uh, is this it? Why do we not have iron plate or glass being delivered here? Oh. That's probably why. Iron plate. Uh. Lately, I've been setting this to just one train load. Oh, what am I doing? Glass. I want to see how that works. I would think with this setup it would have to be completely empty before another train is called, but LTN has done some things that I wouldn't expect, so we're running that experiment. And 
and in a few seconds we should see these lights go yellow. I left a follow just before the stream ended. That makes sense. First time actually chatting. No worries. And there's our trains at all four stations. Couldn't be too long before they get here, but they have to pick up the iron and glass from up here. That's probably our train. Fantastic. Blank data card by product is high when you complete any science path. Do you mean how you get a lot of blank data cards back as a like side output? Yeah, of course. Uh, it seems they're still loading. That's going to take a minute. 16k. Takes a little while to load. Um, I think iron and glass pickups... Yeah, with this, uh... With this design, the iron and glass pickup is the same train stop, so... That's actually the worst thing we could possibly do for rough data storage substrate. Um, but it's fine, we just have to make sure we have enough smelter, uh, smelters. Tried space exploration, but it lags? Ouch. Sad to hear it. Uh, Femirim? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Mod seems cool. Yeah, it's pretty good. Only when all sciences are running, depending on what combinations you use. Alright, so we got some glass, and some glass, and some glass, and presumably some glass, for whatever reason. I really want to see this in motion before we leave, because... Um, I want to make sure it's all working. Try maybe lower texture resolution. Gonna need the cards later. At least he has a robust production. AMS. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. No path. Which one are you trying to go to? This one. Why... Oh, there's probably a little bit of rail that didn't get built here. Still, I would think they could come down here, get on the... Oh, there's the problem. Well, there's your problem, a podcast with slides. And... Go. Just double-checking there wasn't some change I made to the rail that... Um, made it so that would mess anything up. So that train should be on its way. Yes, good. Iron and steel provider. Oh, I never named that station correctly. That's actually iron and glass provider. Uh, let's update these. Glass. And this one. Make sure there isn't a train coming when we change the name. And there we go. Right then. And here come our first products. We've got... Oh no. Oh no. That 
was a mistake. Um, did I actually connect the iron and glass to all of these? I did. Well then. Step one, let's disconnect this. Um, probably would have helped me realize that I shouldn't do that if I had set these up as belt beforehand. That's the wrong... That's That actually should be output. Oh. Yeah, no, never mind. That's input. That's output. Yeah, it's only the ones on the side where the input thing is misleading, right? So this one, and we're going to have the same issue on the other side, oh no. At least the belt has stopped moving for now. Um, this should be regular belt, get rid of these. And this is why we test. Also, I missed a little bit of red belt here. Probably the exact same mistake as over this way. There it is. Let's get him to fix that first. And then over here. Well, it's good that you chose to stay and check how it's running. Yes, indeed. Okay. So... I guess... It's, at least it's probably not going to take too long to fix this. Um, I might get the spiders to help. Have I set them to reject iron plate and glass? No. Kind of. Which one did I just update? White spider is updated. Okay. This one becomes yellow again. And then, we'll get him to pick this up. That looks kind of cool. Isn't there also blue belt connection missing, not only red one? Uh, probably. I mean, considering all those blue belt connections were in the wrong place, uh, we're absolutely gonna have to... That's not working. Um, let's just change these to no condition. Get all that stuff off the belt. And we're done. And it looks like we actually had room for them as well. Fantastic. Let's make sure we fix the loader. Good. And 
And now we have to hope that we do indeed have room. What happened to this? Was that just never sent where it was supposed to go? A Mahalik. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Yes, How's your stream today? Also, I don't know if I said... I think I said welcome, Mobel. Yeah, definitely. Um... So... We're definitely keeping this much of the belt. And I guess, I hope this might pretty much be the same, except we need to move this over a bit. Um, this goes here. And then that would go here. I think this is right. How's the rough data cards? Looks like a lot. Uh, yeah, I was actually pleasantly surprised when I realized I could sort of mirror this. And I think, I think this is going to be a pretty good build. Stream was okay, just tidy up stuff mode. I know that feeling. What's the red filter? Um, that's just deconstruction planner so that nothing ends up over here. Um, so, that goes there. And then... I'm hoping it's as simple as... Wait, what? Yeah, I never figured out what that was supposed to be. Cool trick. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I've seen... I think the first time I saw someone doing something like this, they were using... Uh, fish, but I find the red deconstruction planner, it's like a stop sign, it's intuitive. So I think we need to, let's just get rid of those simple paths, and this needs to go here. So we're going to have to merge these on this side. I think it's going to have to look like this, actually. Alright, so this is one, two, three, and four. We'll do the same thing here this one and that's gonna merge in like so let's see two oh it's not gonna be eight outputs is it um it's gonna be as many well no it's not I think if I select it like this. It's nine outputs. That's not great for merging cleanly. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. 29 items per quarter. So we still want one blue belt for all of these. 
and there's a middle one. That's kind of unhelpful. The middle one should go to both of these. Okay. So we want all of this merging to one. All of uh, this merging to one. These ones merging into both of those, if we can. So I guess this part is going to look the same as these, except that goes there. Um, no, this part was right. Okay, so far so good, question mark. And this is going to go over here. It's a pretty neat bit. So then we need all of this stuff to merge into this, which shouldn't be difficult. We can just do like a normal merger thing here. Uh, I think I'll put it on this side though. No, I won't. Okay, this one goes on the inside track though. That's connected. Good. Oh, we still had... No, 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 not there, not there. That's iron plate and glass. Whoops. This is our output. I should have just lined all of these up first. And then we know what we're looking for. So we've got one, two, three, four belts that we want to merge into this. Um, start with one of these here. Does that reach? Not quite. Merged the glass slash iron again? Yes, indeed. And then let's borrow this design. That's going to need to go here. On which version are you playing? My SpaceX won't load. Um, I actually haven't updated for a little while because I kept uh, putting it off. Space exploration. Well, there might have been an update for Factorio rather that I didn't click on. Uh, so where's the default mod? Or does it not? Which one? Does it show the version of Factorio under mods? STD lib, that's a mod, 1.4.6, uh, base, 1.1.50, and space exploration is 0 0.5.94, map version at the top, 1.1.50, dash 1. You're a little behind as you still have the red triangles on rocket silos. That was removed a little bit ago. Okay. Victoria's at 11.53. All right. Uh, given what you said, I might put off updating for a little bit longer.
Alright. So that looks okay. And then... Same thing here, I think. Which means this needs to go back up a tile. And unfortunately, we need a little bit more underground. Oh, uh, and we've got that iron to get rid of again. Glass. It's going to be a little bit of a pain. Whoops. I'm just going to pick up all of this and then we'll put the uh, rough data storage substrates back where they belong. Scrap seems to be doing okay. At least. We're only half done. If this side is done, we're only half done uh, fixing this whole thing. Unfortunately. Right then, rough data, get in there, and back you go. Seems our rate of production isn't too bad. Oh, 4.5, that's not that much yet. Still, it hasn't really been in motion for very long. Why is this one not moving? Because there's no iron plate up here. That's a little bit concerning. Um, there should have been... There's lots of iron plate here. What's going on? Iron plate, 16k. There's iron plate everywhere else. Um, oh, there is a little bit of iron plate here still. Why did I think there wasn't? Oh, this is not outputting because it's full. No, this one is lacking iron. So what's going on here? It's the iron plate up the top, but there's a little bit left down here. And I do mean a little bit. Okay. I should have set this to at least two train loads. But I didn't anticipate that particular little quirk. Thirty-two K should be getting a few more trains in just a moment. Um, so next we have to fix this mess down here. Uh, all of this blue belt is supposed to be rough data storage substrates. So we'll get rid of that. And this bit can probably almost stay the same. Um, needs to move over a bit though. And the way this part is, we're going to have some issues with spacing. Let's turn these red belts around. And make some room. Um, so just to double check again, it's yeah, the whole thing needs to be one blue belt per quarter for the outputs. This might be a little bit problematic. One, two, three, four, five. The fifth one has to merge into both of them. Let's see if we can just copy-paste mirror, see how that goes. So 
So far, so good. Gonna need to move the substation. Nope, not quite. That's a good fit. And what about over here? That one's going to be a... Oh, we can remove this. It goes there. And then... Just have to... Figure out merging these two. Uh, maybe it would be better if this was a regular belt and they collided here to make a to, to, into a splitter. Or here, even? That might be a bit cleaner. That's pretty good. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, this one as well. I think that's just supposed to go here, actually. So that should be fine. So, as weird as it looks, it's just this one, this one, and this one merging. And that's already merged with over here. And that's already merged with from the middle one. Okay, good. So all this becomes one belt. Which is going to go here. We could merge them here, but I feel like this one is a bit better. Uh, we should definitely use a splitter. Does that have to just barely not reach? Hey, the West do? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, registered user, string weasel. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Terrell Geringer. Uh, Joss42. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, I think all that's left is to take this belt here. And bring it to here. I hope. If I move this down a tile, uh, then we can do this a little bit more clean. And this side. Wait, what? Also, there's iron plate on this belt again. Actually, I don't know how that got there. Take that. And considering the whole thing does 118 per second, I don't think fast inserters are going to cut it. Uh, in fact, it looks like 
Okay, it's getting messed up because there's iron getting in here. Um, but once that stops happening... How did the iron get in here? It's still happening. Oh! Oh no. Oh no 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 no. No. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to move this back up a bit. Or I could just put this here, make a little exception. Alright, I guess it's going to be easier if I pick it up from here. Uh, it's gotten everywhere. I wish there was a way to pick up just the iron, like, automatically. Uh, what I might do just temporarily is do a multi-balanced loader. Set filters blacklist. Put these back. Oh, they're not going to take the iron. Yeah, I should have just put no condition on them. What am I thinking? Uh, no condition. Give to me the iron. And plus. And finally, I think we've got it all. Alright, so the condition on this I was going to change anyway. Uh, Everything less than or equal to 0 is average, 100 is 100 above average. So that should ensure that it'll load as fast as possible, but not get too far ahead of uh, being balanced. Oh. And we have... 15k rough data storage substrates already. I think we already set up a request for them. No, we didn't. We almost did. It stacks to 100, doesn't it? Yep. Alright. Rough data storage. Substrate, two train loads, and switch that off before we change the name of the station. And away we go. There should be a train scheduled for this stop quite soon. So I think we fixed it. Probably. Uh, did we get our iron over here? Yes, fantastic. Looking good. The whole thing seems to have stopped. Uh... Why is trash not getting output here? This goes down... down here... that looks fine... and then this doesn't go anywhere. Oh, and this is facing the wrong way as well. Uh, okay. Just as well, because we would have ended up with trash in inconvenient places. Um, 
never actually reconnected these. That should do it. And they should all be in motion again pretty soon. That was a more interesting and satisfying build than I expected it to be. Mostly because I forgot that we'd have to deal with trash. And then the fact that we could only support this much with these two big train stations. Uh, doing almost a perfectly symmetrical build and having the output trains in the middle was definitely something a bit different. Missing a blue underground in one of the bottom middle data outputs. This one? Um, I can see it's not moving, but why is... Oh, it's this one? Like that. Fantastic. Now, do we see inserters swinging everywhere we look? Not quite. Why not here? Trash output. Is it just catching up still? It's probably catching up since I blocked the belt for a while, and the red belt is literally right on the edge of how much capacity we need. We've got 0.3 to spare. So that should be fine. Yeah, I like what I'm seeing. Why is this one also... This is like at the back of the whole thing. Huh. Theoretically, it shouldn't be necessary because we know we've got the same number of outputs on the left side of the belt and the right side of the belt. Or do we? Because this is like backward compared to this. That should be okay, shouldn't it? Maybe we actually do need a lane balancer in a place or two. In order to not bottleneck on the trash output. Although, considering this looks... Okay, it's not saturated. Parts of it are saturated. We're definitely... We're definitely bottlenecking on one side of the belt being more full than the other. Given the space we've got to work with, I don't think I can make a perfect solution to that. Um, it definitely won't be enough to like put a lane balancer here, even if we can fit it. But I'm thinking if we put one like yeah, I don't think even a wide is going to be that. Oh, that's just just small enough, actually. Okay, well that definitely wouldn't hurt. Let's add a... Oops. Wide lane balancer. Maybe this way? No. And I forgot to fix this part. Same thing on the other side, perhaps. If we can. Get 
getting very confused trying to rotate this. That's it. So that should help to some extent, but then... This is almost perfectly even. We've got three on that side, three on... Oh, that's on the same side, actually. And that was four. Uh, rip. a little bit too much on this side of this belt. If we had one more tile here, we could easily swap the sides with that one. Um, I guess we'll do that. It's not perfect, but it's going to be pretty close. So we're just barely going to bottleneck on... It's literally one machine of difference with how balanced this whole thing will be. Because everything after that balancer is balanced except for... This is three on this side and this is four on the other side. But it works and that's all that matters? Yeah, but how well does it work? Okay, let's do the same thing over here. Um, we're going to need a splitter. This goes here. And we've already got the balancer. And that's not as much of an improvement as I was expecting. It is looking pretty close to saturated. But it would never actually be completely saturated either, even if it was working perfectly. Unless it had been blocked for a bit. Technically, if I put a lane balancer here as well, I think that would be too late to help. Alright, and there's our rough data storage substrates getting whisked away to go to space. Fantastic. Rocket's already half full. Nice. So we are going to need an external block to deal with scrap. Um, probably not going to take... Considering that we could have supported this whole thing on like... 16 recycling machines, I think. Uh, it's probably not going to be very difficult. I'll still make... Uh, an entire block to deal with it, I think. Just because... That way I can forget about... You know, that way I know I've got more than enough capacity to deal with scrap for a long time. Nice. Uh, let's go back to the main base for a bit. And resupply. Speaking of resupplying, here are our military spiders. Whoops.
let's get them to continue doing what they do. That should take care of that base. And since those bases are really chunky, I'll check on them after that. Actually, I'll just make them resupply in case I forget about them. I don't have the spiders carrying recycling facilities. Um, we can make a change to that. If only temporarily. Let's get them to come back home. And check on the orbital base. I sort of keep forgetting about, but we're laying the groundwork for it. I'm a bit excited to see um, the rough data storage substrates get sent up. Destination position could be a little bit better than none. Um, did we name that? landing pad? We did not. Novus Orbit RDS S and I'm going to put a radar here. That's obviously the most snug fit. Novus Orbit RDSS, launch on cargo full, which is not going to be very long from now, actually. Look at it go. Almost 90 per second consistently. And here will be a little illustration of how... You only need to worry about it on first launch, really, but... Or, or if the input is slow, in which case, why are you filling uh, cargo rockets with it? But... If you don't use any circuitry and you set this to launch on cargo full, it won't actually fill the last uh, inventory space here. As soon as that cargo slot is unavailable, it's going to launch. Like, unavailable for different things. A ragamuffin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we've got about... 30 seconds or less before this launches. That's the other thing I was going to do in the rail network that doesn't require a whole um, block is uh, producing capsules, but I think this thing is probably keeping up. I'm not sure. Actually, I don't see any here. I think we need some solar panels. Um, how about make them here? Since we definitely have all that stuff. And solar 2400 limit to 2000. And hopefully that's all it takes. 
Oh, uh, I almost missed the launch. Or did I miss the launch? I missed the launch. No. Uh, let's see. Rough data storage substrates flowing into our decontamination facilities. Bunk indeed. So you miss out on 0.2%, but that's like almost a whole stack. But yeah, it's not really that big a deal, especially considering if your float if your throughput is okay at all. Like if if you're making more data storage substrates than you're consuming up here, um, then it is going to uh it's gonna be completely full before it launches next time. How is this already 43 cargo rocket sections? Is that how much we get back from one launch? Hmm. These might fill up faster than I thought. And that's including what the bots may have already taken away. Alright, what should we do next? Um, let's get the spiders up here to do something. And let's check what's missing from the main bus rocket delivery system. We've got glass. I'm surprised if glass isn't here yet. I'm pretty sure I set that up already. Yeah, here it is, glass. We don't have a capsule. Is that all? Is that all that's missing? Um, we might need to do better than this thing. We're not making solar panels in the uh, the train network yet, are we? I should probably do a block for solar panels and accumulators. Um, we do have need of those in volume. But yeah, didn't actually do a good enough job setting up the uh, space capsules, apparently. Don't know where... I think it only had a bunch of solar panels because we deconstructed a bunch of them over here earlier. That's what that was. Okay, so space capsules are kind of important. Um, we do need them for every single... Uh, every single thing that gets sent up via cargo rocket. You should set up logic for the rocket loading inserters to only load if the rocket is ready. You won't be able to put a capsule in a full rocket. That's a good point, actually. I have done that before, but I th think I overlooked it with this system. Uh, let's see. We do have our system to... Limit what we put in here. So this is actually full and doesn't have... Whoops. Alright, well it's a pretty simple fix, but I need to do it a bunch of times. Uh, seven times five, thirty-five times to be exact. And I don't want to copy-paste it, because I don't want to, like, accidentally put the wrong settings on something, but also I don't think you even can copy-paste with the rocket silos like that. So basically, 
these need to be set to... Rocket has to be ready to launch. I would prefer if they load as much as they can without completely loading it. Until the rocket is ready to launch, but I don't know if I'm going to be happy with how many combinators are required to do that. Also, Heinche, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, the obvious thing to do here is just... Uh... Is it the cargo rocket signal? Let's check. If cargo rocket greater than zero, output tick, yes. Okay. The obvious easy way to do this is cargo rocket greater than zero and just like that however that would mean until the cargo rocket is ready to launch they're not going to do anything i guess i'm okay with that the minimum number of combinators it would take We'd need to say... Once you start getting AND operations in there, the number of combinators starts jumping up. Uh, why is E40? Oh, right. Let's find one that's full. Yeah. It'd be something like if E is greater than 5 or if cargo rocket is greater than 0. That's two conditions. The only way to smuggle in two conditions um, without using a combinator is to use the circuit network and the logistic network. We can't do that here. That would mean two decider combinators per one of these. I think I would rather just do it like this. Cargo rocket greater than zero. We can copy paste this much without being in danger of messing things up. One. Two, three, and four. And I haven't forgotten the extra ones on the sides. That's all of them, except for the side ones. Three more to go. And I 
think this is the last one. Yep. And then we just have to fix the ones that are already full and can't put a cargo rock, uh, capsule in. I think all we have to do to fix that is just take one stack away. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more complicated, actually, because inserters are trying to stick stuff in. There we go. Let's click twice. That's a lot of processing units. Oh, you are ready to launch. Okay. Fantastic. Any inventories? Oh! We've actually got a few capsules down here. That one's fine. These are all ready to launch. Not this one, though. And next. Wait, did I fix the side one? Yeah, it says 24k. Um, okay. You're all ready to launch. You are not full yet. You are all ready to launch. Fantastic. 99k. 24k. Definitely not full. Totally empty. And you are ready to launch. That's a lot of... Um... Oh, that's another reason why it's going to take a while. To get space capsules where they need to go. Because they're going to keep getting delivered to arbitrary, if not the closest, uh, logistic train stop until the belt is full enough. Alright. Well, it will happen. Um... It'll happen a little bit slowly. Capsule production has been 0 0.1 per minute. That's one launch every 10 minutes. I don't think that's necessarily bad, but we could probably do better. So, I'll have a quick look at the space base. Um, I'm pretty sure these have all been set up. This is also could be ready, but it's going to take a while. How did we end up with plastic on one side of this belt? Plastic, whitelist, oh, those aren't, those aren't real, that's why. Okay. Concrete, vitae, and nothing. I think we have set up all of those. We just need the capsules to get where they're going. Uh, as for the scooters, let's get them to place some more stuff. Quite a lot more stuff, actually. It's 
uh, getting closer to seeing this base actually work. How are we going with the many, many, many... We're still trying to make 216. We haven't had any multi-spectral mirrors. But apparently there's no passive provider chest available. That's a bit of a surprise. I don't suppose... I'm guessing I left some in a chest somewhere or something, but I don't know where it would be. How about we just get the bots to remove this stuff? That might take a little while. Wait, it shouldn't take a little while. Where are the construction bots? Zero out of 206. Are they stuck hovering somewhere? Somehow? Oh. Oh no. Are they in an infinite loop? Oh, you poor bots. Those are logistic bots. That's not so bad. Sort of. These are construction bots. They are heading back to base, so stuff should be working. Don't tell me we do have a passive provider somewhere and it just took them that long to get around to it. It's been a while. Oh, we also have some, some more passive providers over here. So that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, let's move our spiders again. Over this way, please. And over here. What was that thing I said I wanted instruction? I, I think it's time. Let's do, um... Let's do a rail system build for capsules that isn't just botting it. Okay. So... We need like six or seven inputs for this, and I would prefer... Why do I not have assemblers? I made a small block that makes 1k a minute. A thousand capsules a minute. The main thing is getting all the ingredients to them, right? Surely not a thousand capsules a minute. Uh, 0 0.02... Oh, that's per second. Per minute, 1.25. Okay. Uh, we're gonna bottleneck on inserters, even if we just give it speed modules. We need... 5 point... Hold on. Two point seven oh eight times two is five point four two. Yeah, I thought so. One uh two four six eight nine ten eleven. We need thirty items per second in I guess a stack for each one of these is gonna be fine actually. Three launches per minute, that's Probably sufficient for now. We could go even further. I forgot to check how many inputs this is. It is indeed seven. And we do need solar panels and accumulators in the rail network first. So, uh, can we fit a rail block here? 
Nope. And a nope. Uh, Baldraka, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I guess we'll do solar. Oh, oh no. I think I wanted all of these to be science, and I just built that block there. Whoops. Oh well, we'll do all the science here-ish. Let's do our uh, uh, solar and or accumulator build down this way. We need both. Iron plate, copper, uh, sorry, battery, two in, one out. That's very straightforward. And this is four in, one out. Don't actually need that much since you can rocket back rocket parts and capsules from orbit. That's what I do. Yeah, I do have, or I have been setting up a system to send those back. I mean, if we don't, we're going to end up eventually with storage full of them. Um, but in the meantime, we are going to need to make some. So let's see, solar panels, wire green circuits, uh, where are they, glass, steel and copper. It's one to one to one to three. Belt inputs are going to be a bit awkward. I think. But productivity solar panels. So I think this might end up being a really small build, actually. Speed. And that might be too much to support with belts. 60, that's 63 green circuits per second already. Wow. Really? Wow. This might end up being one of those mini builds that I put up here, actually. Uh, let's see. Electronic circuit, glass, copper, steel. Let's do this vertical. And we need... Uh... Probably a blue belt for input for the greens. And still 2.6 per second for each of those. Is there a way? I think I remember finding a way to do this. Uh, that's not it. I could be wrong. With larger buildings, I definitely found a way to get three different belts going into the side of a 5x5 five five building. One, two, and three. I don't think we can get away with that here. That could be like that. And 
like that. And then there wouldn't be room to make it happen over and over again. Unless... Not sure why I'm even bothering to try and design it like this, because we're definitely not going to use up that much space. Uh, still, interesting little challenge. Uh, I think that's it. What? No. Damn it. Almost. Is this it? One, two, three. If we copy that here, what does it look like? Bad. Uh, I guess this could go here. And then that goes there. I think we can do it. If I do that, it won't be repeatable. Not that it necessarily has to be. On the other hand, this is only 4.2 solar panels per second. That sounds like a lot now that I think about it, though. Then if it keeps going, we probably have to do something different, actually. Are we beginning to repeat this pattern? Yeah, I think we are. I kind of stumbled on it right when I thought I wouldn't be able to get it. And then, so I think the top one is sort of, for lack of a better word, wrong. That goes there, that goes there. And we're probably already past the point of being able to support the green circuits. 94? Yikes, this is actually double what we can do. How many before... <sighs> it's a bit less than six machines. We could make it six and put some efficiencies in there or something. So that would be about six solar panels per second. Maybe I should have just used long arms for the output and we could have inputs on both sides. That might be a lot better actually. 
as much as I'm satisfied that I found a solution to that. Uh, so. Move this a bit further apart. And now let's go here. Um, input belt goes here. That'll be for green circuits. And if we do it like that, we can't quite fit a beacon. That should do it. Unfortunately, substations won't fit very well. I suppose I could just move this upper tile. Wait, no, I can't. It won't reach. Unfortunate. Uh, if we do substations between them, that's actually going to work really well, I think. Okay. One, two, three, four. Wait, how many things does this need? Let's get some power over here. Uh, 1.625 for each of the slow resources. Oh, no, it's actually 2.625. Is a long arm going to cut it? That's actually 5 point something, a bit more than 5 items per second from the one belt, so no. Uh, so instead of long arms on this side, we'll do the old... Not exactly belt weaving. And that way we have a stack inserter for each shared belt. Wait, I think I'm confused. I was going to have a belt for green circuits on both sides, and then... Glass, copper, steel. Between the three of them we need two belts. No, this will be fine. Uh, we'll just do, like, steel on one of these and glass and copper on the others. In which case, belt weaving would probably be fine. Uh, much more compact. So we'll put, uh, maybe steel, just one of those three resources on the red belt. Glass and copper can share the blue belt. Green circuits in the middle. And then this little tile. And how many times do we copy this before we have serious trouble trying to bring in enough stuff? Uh, hardly any. Just four of these and we need a standard, um, standard train station for each of the slower resources. And we need 252 green circuits per second. 5.6 belts. I guess we'll define it by... Uh, 
Just three of these requires four blue belts of green circuits. Hmm. I guess this build is going to be a lot bigger than I thought, but it's going to be big in terms of input stations, not the actual buildings. Also... Let's see how that... Oh, that's exactly 60. Which means that's exactly four blue belts input um, for electronic circuits. So I'm thinking six of these we could do eight belts of green circuit input. Uh, 120. That's 2.6 belts. That's a bit much. Let's drop it down to 90 per second for these. Um, that's fine, I guess. I haven't actually done a train station that does, like a single train station that does eight belts of output before. That might be interesting. It would probably go here somewhere. Actually, it'd need to go further into the middle if it's going to be like that. So maybe... Like this? And we need 90 per second for the other ones. Left 90 per second. Right 90 per second. Actually, maybe I should have done that to the left and then output it here. No, I don't think so. And then... One more of these. That's actually taking up the space that we might need for... Uh, why are you carrying accumulators? And copper. Alright. Green stop goes... Uh, here. Oh, we need a chain signal, regular signal. Uh, this one can't be placed anymore, that's fine. And this one may as well not be there, I think. Unless we split those as well. But anything that goes through that is going to go through that, and it's not going to take long. So I think we leave it like that. That's fine. It's all good and correct. Train goes here, and then... We need 180 per second on both sides. We've got plenty of room on this side. We could do that nice big juicy one if we want to. Uh, we can also do a more compact 180 per second with combinators. I completely forgot I could do that. That's pretty neat. If we skip the combinators, could do it like this. Uh, 
and we should have plenty of room for another output here. Not quite. Well, kind of. Long... whoops. Long lane balancer goes here. And obviously we could put it up there if we really want to. So that's going to be eight output belts of green circuits and two for everything else. Which would let us do four of these. Uh, yes, easily. Since uh, 252 green circuits per second is very short of 360, though, um, I think we will use the smaller... I think it's a really simple combinator. It doesn't quite consistently give 180 per second. This one does, but it needs more combinators. But yeah, that's pretty straightforward. And between the two of these, you're going to have no trouble at all um, supplying... What was it? 260 per second? Uh, it was this times four, 252, yeah. Um, over here we should do the build that we've done a few times with the 90 per second shared belts, just like this. That's 90 per second per resource. Where's our scooters? And that is going to be, let's say, glass and copper. There's already glass here, so let's change iron to copper. that a few times. Alright. What's next? This will have to be steel. And... I can't remember how many of these we were looking at. Only four. So that's it. We could uh, do the same thing again where we use half a block and then merge it in the middle. Only this time we don't have to deal with the asymmetry with scrap. The only question is how well we can fit this. Unfor the only trouble with this uh, being able to have the trains come in off this crisscross is you can't get the rail exactly where you may necessarily want it. We could perhaps... I th think we can definitely do this. Um... Have the steel go up there, and then I think, I think, I think, I think, we can put this here. Hopefully we can put the signals where I would like them. 
Leftmost assembly group have an efficiency module in the beacon, but the right one doesn't. Is it supposed to be like that? It is not. Uh, also, I almost lost that copy-paste. Um, the efficiency module was just to tweak the speed since it was going to be a little bit over the threshold for the belts. Alright, so can I fit this train properly? I think so. There should be... Right about here should be the limit, yep, of where that train would fit. Let's go. So that's going to go there. Now I need to rethink these signals. I'll copy-paste the usual to start with, and then see what we want to change. Uh, not a whole lot, I think. I think all we're going to do is allow the trains to come in that way. And... Oh. Train would have to be able to come this way. We could do that. I'd have to change this to a chain signal, or would I? A train could be coming south and stop here while it waits for something to go that way. A train could be waiting to go up through this to the north, but it won't wait in this block going north. So it won't block another train. I think that'll work. Right then. Green circuits. Go here. Uh, we've got our fancy schmancy balanced unloader. Or it's a sort of balanced unloader. It'll be balanced as far as the cargo wagons are concerned. Which is the most important thing. Uh, so then we've got... Eight belts of green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very straightforward. Love it. This is the middle... We'll have to move that up or down, that's fine. And this will go... here. Actually, I think I would like to do it like this, maybe. What the... What? Why does it keep doing that? These don't read belt contents, so changing them to a corner isn't going to change anything. I could have that go to the left, and that would save a little bit of space, actually. And we'll have this one go over here. So that's going to go to the first one. That's going to go to the second one, and so on. So these will all go left.
and it looks like I haven't quite left enough room, which I kind of expected. Hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8? Yeah. Okay. Do we actually have room to do it like this? Well, there's not going to be room for these inputs. I think. We'll see. Right then. Steel is going to go to the red belts. Um, I actually think it would be easier if this goes to the right first and then comes in from this side. So that's going to be left. And then that goes there. I don't think we need to bother lane balancing them. This effectively does the lane balancing for us. Right then. The only question is, can I pull this off with enough room for the output in the middle? Um, considering the very limited number of final products we're going to get per second. Uh, less than a yellow belt, in fact. But definitely far less than one belt. It shouldn't be difficult... Uh, which one of these is the center? That's it. Shouldn't be too difficult. Let's put this here. I guess on the other side, it's going to have to be a bit asymmetrical. Oh, that's not going to be in the middle, is it? Can I remove that? There we go. Which one of these is closer to center? This one. Like... So, so we're going to have final product is going on this one belt. Like this. Seems we have plenty of room to do that here. Um... It's not even going to use half a belt, so... Oh, wait a sec. Can we see that again with the speed modules? 13 solar panels per second. Uh, also, I wanted to double check what we get here. Is this still under 90 per second for those inputs? Yes, good. Alright, so 16.8 solar panels per second. Uh, that's less than half a belt. So we don't even need to use... splitters to merge these properly. Oh. Definitely need that part. That's a good fit. 
That might be a bit different. Except we're going to do this on the other side as well. That might need a bit of a, a better merge. That's not supposed to go there. Alright, so we've got at least two tiles of extra space here. Let's move all of this down a little bit. One, two. And hopefully that'll be enough so we can find room for the other inputs. Uh, the whole thing... Let's see how much... Oh, it's 90 per second, isn't it? A bit less than that. Um, so we're going to need an input like this for the steel. Which might make things difficult. Um, we could do it like this. I'll continue with the red theme there. Alright, let's just do this part first. These two are going to be coming from that side. And they're also 90 per second. Uh, there's going to be four belts coming from there, though. Uh, this might be trickier than I realized. To try and fit it in half a block. I mean, I kind of expected it to be difficult, but still. We need two belts of steel coming this way, four belts of mixed belt, that stuff coming this way. That's six... One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's going against the grain of the green circuits. Is there anywhere else we can smuggle in one or two of these resources? What if steel went to both sides and snuck through here or something? I don't see how that's going to work. Output for bottom assembly is missing belt. Oh, true. This is a much harder build than I expected it to be. If we could make steel come in from a different angle somewhere. Or if steel goes in from both sides. How much steel does this require? Only 21 per second. Okay. So what if... Uh, that loops around. This is 42 per second. Take two lanes and go left at the unloader and keep two going to the right. Two lanes and go left at the unloader. For steel. Uh, 
go left. So go into the middle here somewhere. And then split this here. And then it only has to be uh, like one belt wide. So it's going to look something like... Well, I don't know how this is going to work from the middle, but putting that aside. Maybe. Maybe the... No, there's not room for the extra belts of green up there. Oh. There's definitely one more tile we can salvage here. So that goes there. That goes there. This one goes here, and so on. Huh? Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there we go. Don't know how much difference that one's going to make, but we'll see. Do you need blue belt for the most part for steel? So this is only going to be one belt wide going this way. That's not going to work the way I would want it to. Where am I going with this? I could just do it like that. This one could be red belt, but whatever. Okay, so that's one side of steel as close as it can get and we'll probably do the same thing over here that should be okay And then we just need steel to go like this. I'll leave that in place in case I change my mind. It's going to be trivial to connect that part up. And that just leaves the mystery of how we get four belts uh, to... One, two, three, four, eight. In the same spots. Um, I think we're going to need this shape again. Maybe. This goes here, and you go through 
here. There's no really good place to park that. Maybe it's the green circuit input that I need to rethink a little bit. So we need one belt to go here, one belt to go to these two, which means probably change how this is laid out. No, we can't do that. I like this, but that's probably going to be worse as we run out of space. Oops. So that goes to these two. I wish it didn't take up quite so much space to do this. how that's going to look. This is in the way. Hmm. Oh, there's like a gap here that we haven't exploited. Is that going to be that useful? Maybe. So this is one belt going to these two. And one belt going to these two. So that's one, two. And then we just need two more to reach all of this stuff somehow. Uh, considering we can exploit this gap here, it might not be that difficult. Surprisingly. We could move some of these belts up, if necessary. At least a couple of tiles. Oops. Obviously we can add some undergrounds and stuff. This is beginning to remind me of uh, this build over here. <laughs> Which was quite a challenge to finally get the belts to go where they needed to. But we did get there. Four belts of copper, four belts of... Two belts of steel, four belts of plastic, and four belts of glass. In order to support all of these uh, LDS. And I think it... Is it the same thing over here? No, this one's definitely more complicated. Anyway, I feel like we're actually getting close to getting there. So we need one belt to go to these two. Uh, we can do that here. That's a good, pretty good fit. So that's going to go there, and then 
Just one more. Needs to go here or something. Oh, and that's not quite right. Not difficult to fix though. Is that actually as far as it reaches? Nope. A hey, Vario. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I think we can just put that through there. And then down here. Don't tell me it was that easy, relatively speaking. This goes here and here. Missing an underground? Whereabouts? a bit to T. Uh, let me add the rest of these to tidy the whole thing up a bit and see if I spot it. Fixed it? Okay, cool. I think that was probably something I left there intentionally as I was just... Uh, Designing, trying to figure it out. It's going to look a little spaghetti, but that's okay. We're just about done. Uh, just to double check, we can indeed fit this all mirrored like. Cool. Although signals might be a bit of a problem on this side. Because we just happen to have a build that takes up that tile. Uh. If it comes to that, I will move this entire build somewhere else. That's not that difficult at this stage, especially when we haven't um, pulled a train yet. Except we only need this train to be able to approach from one side. Oh, that's the input train, though, that would be having a problem. What? No, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Uh, why don't we make another rail block? One that doesn't have build like this next to it? Did we not? Yeah, we did. Fantastic. So this goes here, and this goes here. Uh, and I think this signal has to be a bit different than usual as well. It's 
let's make sure. Right then. I think I'm gonna remove all of these. I'll leave the train stops there because sooner or later we're gonna build something here anyway. Probably get the construction spiders to help me pick this up. This part here is going to be slightly different. Um, in fact, the whole thing's going to be less than a whole, less than a belt, the entire block. So we'll bring all those outputs up here. Oh wow, that did not take long. What is that? Some Zerg creep? It's been a while since I checked on anything else. Uh, military spiders, I know I brought them back. Let's get them doing something useful again. They need much help with that one. That should be enough for one trip, just about. Let's bring them back. And I think it's time we set some of these logistic requests. Let's see. Standard drop off. Uh, this is going to be copper and glass. That was not glass. This is steel. Requester. Oh, this isn't fully built yet. Need some filter inserters. Oops. Green circuit. Questa. Uh, this should be connected. And we only need one of these. We'll see which one. Actually, I could just connect one side of it to here. Nah, that's fine. One of these are going to be left over after we see where the power poles fit. And this is going to connect. I shouldn't have done it that way. Oh, well. Like so. Uh, circuit. Quite a lot since we need a massive throughput. That's going to need to change. Don't tell me I copied that to the other side as well. Did. Uh, 
Uh, I think we're ready for the copper and glass, though. Copper and plate. Two train loads. Glass. Two train loads. And there should be a train coming soon. Steel. Goes here. That's kind of a snug fit. Pity it doesn't go one tile further down. I'll take it though. Both of those fit pretty well, but since we already connected this one here, and it looks pretty snug, let's do a request for steel, a few train loads, make sure this is connected, let LTN know what's here, and I think we're ready for the green circuits. I certainly hope so, because we're going to be bringing a lot of them. Uh, let's do a... I think it's right side. 90 per second. Yes. Long lane balancer. Well, I guess the lane balancer is not going to matter that much. I have 16 acrospheres. I don't dare use them yet, but I have them. Sounds scary. Talem Grandmaster. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. When you're done, leftmost input belt to blue underground is missing. Blocked by red underground. True. I made the same mistake on the right hand side. Uh, that means I have to... I could just have this go around. I don't love having... The insert I have to pick up from a corner. Um, oh. No, this is an easy fix. Yeah. And I should have done the same thing on this side. Oh, actually, I couldn't have, I don't think. That'll do. Thank you. Uh, let's remove that and copy that back into place. And then some undergrounds here. That fit is a little bit unfortunate. It's just a little bit too close for undergrounds, kind of. Alright, so that's our steel. We got glass. We haven't connected these yet. Probably could have stretched that out a bit more, couldn't I? Yeah, that would have looked better. Cool. 
I guess it's time to summon the green circuits. Uh, we could definitely stand to do that. And hopefully I'm not going to miss any little updates that I just had to make on one side. I don't see any red, so that should be okay. Don't need this belt here though. Um, I think I just messed that up. There we go. Right then. Uh, so on this side, the outputs are going to be a bit different. Gonna get rid of that station. Trains already go this way. Actually, I'll do it like this, just so that we don't mess with the traffic. It looks a little weird, but I think that's fine. The train's still going to be straight when it stops. Not going to have any issues fitting or anything like that. Oh. Uh, we're summoning trains a little bit prematurely now because of that copy-paste. It'll probably be fine. Probably fine. So we're going to do... Belt like this. And it should mirror... Why is that facing the other way? Oh, I see. It should end up mirroring what we did over there. That's not... Oh, I see. So, just to remind ourselves, this side only does 16 per second. So we'll put all of those on one side with the belt. How is it we don't have any green circuits coming yet? We've had a build that's got infinite green circuits available for... What? Huh? Uh... We seem to have run out of copper? I see plenty of copper ore here. I see we're not prioritizing. Oh no. We've got two copper trains that got stuck. Make that three. Or trains going to the same stop anyway. Um, I wonder if there's anything different about those loaders. Well, I think that explains our copper shortage. Luckily, it's not actual capacity or resources or anything. Get 
rid of this. And what else do I need to do here? This is going to be solar panel pickup. Uh, that is provider, actually. We're going to need a stand pickup. Uh, spiders are going to need to be in range of that. Some inserters. Connect to here, connect to here, and that should be that. They don't have power though, that's a slight problem. That's a, probably the neatest thing I can do. So we're just waiting on green circuits to see this thing working, and for that we're waiting on copper, and the problem is the rare bug that we have with this loading system. Um, it all looks to be correct. Each divided by 24 output each and stack size. And then the remainder. We can reduce this by one combinator, but this is the same. We, we can just remove the um, one that outputs S because the stack size can just be one when there's only one more inserter to go. Same thing applies here. Let's go to the next one. Upper plate be gone. Stick out inserters be gone. Superfluous. Uh, combinator be gone and this one very odd consistent error that we've got here especially considering it's um consider it's been not doing that for hours upon hours upon hours. Let's do the other three, even though we haven't seen them be jammed. Uh, this is sticking out with copper. Why? That's how this happens. The train arrives and it I think it basically gets copper put in it before it even registers anything with the circuit network. And then you see, looking at the signal from uh, LTN, that it's uh, it looks like it's asking for copper because it has a signal of what it already had. Are you having a problem? No, this one looks fine. Once it gets close to full, one inserter at a time, stack size one. That's it. And nothing we changed with the circuit changes any of the logic. We just got rid of setting the stack size to 1 explicitly, because the default is 1. So I don't know what's going on there. Uh, 
Copper is on the way, it seems. Fantastic. Is this one a bit ahead of the curve? Yes, good. And another perfect load. Really makes you wonder how that happens. Now that I think of it, it was some of the circuit, uh, some of the combinators that um, are not supposed to do the last little bit were the ones that were sticking out. Have we had any power issues for a while? Doesn't look like it. Uh, accumulators were doing more here, but it didn't look like they crashed or anything. That was seven hours ago. 20 something hours ago, we may have had a big crash. That may have been it. We've had things so far ahead with production that it's possible I could have missed something for that long. I don't know. No, I think I looked at them more recently than that. Right, there goes our green circuits. Hopper's uh, coming to this side as well. I believe. Yes, good. And the solar panels are just because we had so much more space left over but couldn't do anything more with it. Uh, you should probably update this. Less than or equal to 100. That means they won't stop until there are 100 items above the average. There we go. Almost eight blue belts of green circuits. Just a couple of tiny little gaps. And the inserters are keeping up. And here is our train coming to pick up green circuits. It has to pick up 32,000, so it's going to take a little while. But hopefully... Those are not being delivered here. Unless we're having a light malfunction, which is very rare. Unfortunate. Shouldn't take long before the other train stop has uh, a train coming for the green circuits, though. 24k. 25k. Let's drop in on our... Orbital base spiders while we wait for that. And down here as well. Oh, there's a little bit there's a little bit more to be placed over here. I think I can see exactly what's supposed to be there. And I'm pretty sure that's the very end of that base. Yeah. But I can't... Uh... Oh, I know how I can make that happen sooner. Just have the bots grab the scaffolding here. And then. Fantastic.
Right then. What are we missing here? I think it's just the buildings. Let's move over a bit. And it's definitely too soon to have more green circuits coming. But let's see what we've got. 35k. Uh, okay, that's... I was going to say there should be a train coming. It just left. I should really have turned performance mode back on. Not that it's giving us that much more UPS. Fixed corner wrong? Uh, which one was that? Oh, do you mean the... Uh, in orbit? That's... It seems like green circuits haven't been moving for a little while because... That's not going somewhere where I want it to. Insert a can't pick from belt. Is it in orbit or was it... Um... Oh, I see. True. Thank you. Spooters. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I think they must be low on energy. Because I left them standing still and then there's another wave of bot activity. There we go. Fixed. Nice. And they can reach all of that. Fantastic. This will do. Um, I don't know if I really need another block to make green circuits. It's probably just because they've been not moving. The copper hasn't been moving for so long. Although we did get copper delivered over here. Hmm. Loading system seems to be working, but it always does for hours upon hours, and then we find a train stuck. Oh well. Back to orbit. Got any more belt left? Yes. Much have you got? Most of you have no regular belt left over. Alright, let's get them to resupply then. And back up here where the belt is. Oh, did we get our... We did. Nice. That means we should have some... Uh, telescopes that we've built. Yep, we've built a good chunk of them. Fantastic. Nice to... I could just make another block with green circuits while we're waiting. Um, this whole thing does output 380 per second, though. Theoretically. Solar build have few belts missing. Output for bottom right assemblers and input for GC in the middle. Oh, we've got circuits coming. Uh, output for bottom right assemblers. Oh, yep, you're right. Input for GC. GC? 
glass copper. GC in the middle-ish. Green circuits. Oh, right, of course. Uh... I think green circuits are okay. We're about to find out. Oh, here. I'm surprised I missed that one. Really should have finalized everything up here before I copy-pasted, but... Oh, and it's on this side as well. That would explain it. Fantastic. And here comes our train. No path. Um, what are we missing here? That all looks correct. So what we can do is select the train, hold control to trace where we could make a temporary stop. Oh, I think I know the answer. Yeah. We added a signal up here. There's actually another signal I was supposed to add to that. Uh, so we need a chain signal here. And on this side, we need a chain signal here. And the train should now be on its way. No? Which one are you trying to go to? This one. It's hard to tell by trying to give it a temporary stop. Because I want it to be going from this direction. Here, to here, to here, to here. Oh, that chain signal didn't get placed yet. It's just barely outside the range of the bots. Now it should be coming. Fantastic. New signal bottom right is still a ghost, correct. Uh, Aimberg, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the, thanks for pointing those out. And. Scooters. Have we run out of belts? No. There's belt here. There's just not enough logistic bots. Alright, I'll have to give that some time then. I could use a resupply. Let's go do that. Construction spiders could probably... Use a resupply as well. Military spiders. Go do your thing. Start with the little baby expansions. And I kind of want to get rid of this one. And I guess that's enough for one trip. Hey, the old base. The very old base. Green circuits, ahoy! Let's see if they get everywhere they're supposed to. Uh, that would help. And we'll fix it on this side as well. It's much easier to see mistakes like that when everything's in motion. And we do be getting solar panels.
550 so far. Fantastic. Now we just need to see it happening on this side as well. Looks like our green circuit train is on the way there. How many green circuits do we need? 15. So... Uh, 2,133 solar panels every time a green circuit train comes. And away we go. This is stopped because it's trying to do balanced output. That's looking a bit weird. Why didn't that happen on this side? If there's a mistake. That's very weird. Huh. I am at a loss as to... They're probably not connected. They are connected. Oh, there's two of them. But there's only one on this side. That's why. I guess I have to actually go and remove the offending uh, combinator before that'll get fixed. Uh, construction spiders are still getting resupplied, so I'll do it myself. Looks like I have been resupplied. Take the speedy spider. Didn't remove the extra combinator, correct. I thought I removed it before the copy-paste. So all of them think they're... If anything, shouldn't all of them think they're way below the average? Hmm. Still getting copper from here. Very, very, very slowly. And by copper I mean iron. Alright, let's check on the spooters. They've got a little bit of belt. We need to give them more time. And... We're down to 78 telescopes before we've built everything we need to build this base. Rather than painstakingly setting the requests uh, for all of those spiders, for all of that, I think I'll go deliver those personally. Oh, here we go. Just in time to see the green circuits not make it over here. Did we make the same mistake on this side? We did. And let's fix this one. And we should finally see every machine working at the same time. Although, now that I look at it, uh, it seems a stack ins a single stack inserter is not fast enough to keep the solar panel machine going. It's working now, so what was happening there? Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Maybe the belt wasn't saturated enough at the time. We're getting some throughput issues here. It's because we're running out. It's not like it's a design issue. 
Uh, but yeah, that is... Solar panels sure take some time to build. Is it like this in vanilla? 10 seconds? That sounds about right. Maybe not as many resources. Uh, but next, we're going to need to do some accumulators. I would like to do them here if I can. As long as the uh, extra signals don't get in the way. Sig accumulators couldn't be simpler. It's two inputs, one output. Well, I guess you could get simpler than that. Reput wise, we need two and a half times as many batteries as iron plate. 10 seconds per machine. Way less resources, so we can probably do a more traditional build as compared to this weirdness that we had to do with uh, uh, solar panels. Where should we fit our radar? There we go. And still haven't placed that one, although I did lay it out. Let's get the construction spiders back over here. Chu any? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How many hours do you have? Played on this map? Uh, yes. Uh, 15 days, 11 hours. We've been at it for a while. Although some of it I've been taking my sweet time with. Let's remove those. Don't actually have to carry them. And these here. So I think uh, next stream we'll start with uh, the accumulator build. Oh, the spiders are still out. And a little bit lower on health for the first one than I would have thought. Let's go get you repaired. How are you doing for ammo? Just okay. Alright, I'll send them back for a resupply so I don't have to remember. And... Uh, check on the space spiders. I've got a bit more belt now, not that much more. Might be worth sending them to build some stuff though. Uh, I kind of want to get all of the belt done over here before I worry about completing the main bus. And we'll focus on the bits of the bus that are strictly necessary. I don't think we need to send more space belt up to get the whole thing finished, but I could be wrong. Anyway, it's about time to find another stream to raid. Let's see who's... Whoa. Okay. Lean browser. That was not a lean load. Uh, Twitch Factorio. Thanks, Velda. And uh, thank you for the follow, Malmberg. Alright, who's streaming? We got Diablo. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's his ending credit screen. I do keep catching him trying to finish. I uh, haven't raided this person before. Let's give him a go. Zeke Death. 
unless I see... No, I don't see any, like, familiar names standing out or anything, just scanning quickly. Alright, thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're interested, or if you have any questions or anything, by all means let me know. And, uh, until then, do take care. Bye-bye.